a shot from earlier as the Miami team bus arrived at the arena. The players gearing up for a tough contest away from home. And welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Tonight, it'll be the Houston Rockets going up against the Miami Heat. This is Brian Anderson. With me, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. And reporting courtside, it's Allie LaForce. So a look at our starters for the Heat. MP is out there with Terry Rozier. Then there's Kevin Love. And it's Jovic in at the four-man spot. And for Houston, Brooks and Smith make up the two forwards. Thompson out there with Jalen Green. And it's Shangoon in at the center, locking down the middle. Well, Grant, when you look at these teams, both very scrappy. They're really getting after it on defense right now. And I love it. I mean, it's actually really refreshing to see. Being that the league has shifted more to being offensive-oriented, this matchup has a bit of an old-school feel to it. So you know I like that. It's going to be fun. Smith outside. Pass to Green. Now here's Shangun. No good. Love with the defensive effort. Rogier against Thompson. Jovic passes to MP. There's the three. Sends it home from three-point land. MP's got five points. Fantastic read in that pick and roll. MP is so dependable at executing in these sets. Thompson. Pass to Brooks. Inside. And Rozier pulls it down. And it's Rozier with the ball for the Heat. MP outside. Now Love. Here's Jovic. Covered by Smith. Love for three. The Rockets pull it in. Fresh off a win against the Warriors. <laughs> and in that game, they owned the glass. Most of the second chance opportunities went to them. And you could tell it was demoralizing for their opponent, missing out on all those extra possessions. A cold start for them. Three shots, three misses. Good thing it's early. There's a screen by Love. The drive by MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Yeah, MP races in and goes straight up, catching the defense. Man, they were not focused. Green against Rozier. Green, the pass to Shangun. Here's Thompson. Shangun in the post, covered by Love. Five to shoot. Shangun, the screen. Green for three. The rebound by MP. 0 for 4 to start this game. Some of it's execution, and some of it's just bad luck. Pass to Jovic. Rozier outside. And here's Love from downtown. Pure from three-point range. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. They were ready to roll right through the tip. There was no warm-up period. There was only, let's do this. Time called here. The Rockets decide to talk it over. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Tyler Hero. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. And it's Green with the ball for the Rockets. Looking for their first basket of the game. The Heat beat them last time when those two met in Miami. If they want to beat these guys this time, they have to do better on the glass. That was their undoing. And a lot of that begins with effort. Putting in the work and closing out possession should make this a much more contested game. Grant, your first year in the league, 1995, the Houston Rockets were NBA champs. Oh, B.A., I mean, Hakeem the Dream made facing that team a nightmare. He was everywhere defensively, long and quick on his feet. 
That 95 Houston team was incredible. Now here's Green. 35 points for him last game against Golden State. On the wing, Rozier fires from deep. And again, Miami with a triple. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. The Rockets have gone 0 for 6 from the floor. Shaky start. Brooks, the pass to Thompson. Thompson with another miss. This is hard to watch. You might want to put the kids to bed. This man still has not hit a shot this quarter. Three-pointer Rozier. Nails it from three. Rozier. Rozier's got six. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Rozier's gone two for two so far from three. Thompson passes to Shangun. And here is Thompson, covered by MP. Looking to end the run. And it's hammered home by Green. Already an intelligent playmaker, Thompson moves the ball well for a rookie. Pass to Love. And here's MP. Rozier outside. Here's Jovic. Back to Rozier. Down low. Here's MP. And Miami again with the bucket. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Green against Rozier. Green in the post. Soft touch off the glass. Green's got his second basket on the night. It is impressive how Green can sink shots after contact. Great body control for a player his size. And MP throws it down. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Here's Thompson. The Thank Heat you, Idol. Sa patamsak. Ayan, salamat. Pass to Shengun. From deep. And it's MP with a rebound. The Heat have gone an impressive 8 of 9. Rozier, the pass to Jovic. Salamat, Idol. Sa patambay. Ayan. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. And so it's Houston with it. The Heat making their last shot. Green with the ball. Now guarded by Rozier. Puts the move on. And it's Green missing. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Novich's shot is off. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. Green, the pass to Smith. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Ah, forget about those three-point shots. Jabari dunks. Eh, they're just a little bit easier. Shane Goon with a steal. Brooks outside. On the wing, Green. Thompson finds Brooks. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. And you gotta at least honor Brooks' three-point shot if you're the defense. I mean, he is more than capable of connecting. MP, the pass to Love. Thompson in the post. MP's there. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Heat. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. You know, another thing that has impressed me has been their numbers of points in the paint. Just dominating down there. They're just getting whatever shot they want in close. Deason's checked in for Shangun. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Salamat Idol! Launches it from deep. Rebounded by Jovic. Jovic has got his fourth rebound in this one. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. All right, Richard, what's your take on the back-to-backs in the NBA? Are you for it or against it? Look, I think you should limit some of them, but back-to-backs are a part of what this game is. It's the battle of your mind over your body. It's been going on since the start of the league. Why are we going to try and make it easy?
Ayan, idol may jacket na yung mga ninja natin dyan sa katambay. Eason finds Nance. And Nance with the slam! Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. Here's Hakez. Still without a bucket. Hero outside. Clock at six. Miami, no good that time either. Houston has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Screen by Eason. Green, the pass to Nance. And Nance with the slam! As he gets more comfortable in unlocking his potential, we'll see Green get more comfortable in moving the ball. MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for Houston. A 12-point game. Pass to Eason. Outside, Green. And the deficit down inside single digits. Green's got his third bucket of the night. He can get it down off the dribble or off the catch. Green is just a flat-out shooter. To the middle. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. <laughs> And we always like to take this chance to show you the scoring leaders from the last Thank 10 days of action. MP, number one. Yeah. He's been on an absolute tear offensively. He's found something that's working for him, and he's sticking to it. the first and the Rockets will go for a different look here Shangun checked in for Nance Finney Smith comes in for Smith Tate's checked in for Green and it's Bullock in for Holiday and the Rockets with possession they're on a 13 to 5 run here's Tate scores after the quick crossover good execution they're getting some short range looks here the heat with the lead hero outside MP looking around. They set a pick. On the wing, Rozier. Off the mark there with a three. Houston has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Hero against Eason. To the inside. Here's Tate. And he drops it in from the low post. Tate's gotten his second bucket of the game. Miami has gone four of eight from outside in this first quarter. To the paint. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. And so far, this game has belonged to MP. Getting to his spots and executing with ease. And it's Houston's ball. Trailing by eight. Here's Bullock. Pounded by Rozier. Shangun, the screen. The three is up. And so it's MP making things happen for Miami. An insane quarter. No one could stop him. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. For those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. Let's quickly break down what we've seen from the Heat. Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified some weaknesses, and they are exploiting them. On the court for Miami here in the second. They've got MP. 
He's out there with Terry Rozier. Caleb Martin out there with Tyler Hero. And it's Highsmith in at the power forward. Well, MP in the last matchup against the 76ers played some superb basketball. He contributed 52 points and knocked down his share of three-pointers. That was a factor, too. A reminder of the amazing things that he's capable of on any given night. It'll be hard to match that tonight, but he'll try. Guys? Yeah, he was unstoppable during certain stretches. It'd be great to see him top that performance tonight. Well, his team needs him to contribute. When he's on his A game, he just makes play after play. Expect them to go to him early and often. Don't want to let that hot hand go to waste. The Rockets trail. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one on Martin. Everyone in the building saw the obvious... Houston calls timeout. Timeout charged to Houston. Once again, your Black City Texans! Eason, the pass to Thompson. from downtown here in the second. Here's MP taking it inside. And MP throws it down. And the work that MP puts in, it shines through during every hoop he makes. Thompson outside. Shangun in the post. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his third assist of the night. MP outside. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Rogier, the pass to Hero. From outside, off the mark. The Rockets have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. And that one's good for Brooks. Brooks has got five. And just as tough as they come, Dylan Brooks battling for two points. Pass to Martin. Back to MP. Now here's Hero. Back to MP. Six on the shot clock. No good from outside. And Brooks has got the ball here for Houston. Seven point differential. Over MP. That went off the back iron and out. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Pass to Jovic. Good D by Shangun. The Rockets have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Thompson scanning the floor. Back to Eason. Thompson with a screen. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You have to respect Brooks' approach to the game. He's always looking for little ways to improve and wants every year to be his best. Smith, he's checked in for Finney Smith. Kevin Love's checked in for Miami. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Thompson passes to Shangun. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Inside. Here's MP. Back to Hero. Pass to MP. And there's the call on Tari Eason. That's foul number two for him. That's his second foul here pretty early in this one. He's got to be careful for the rest of this half. On the wing, Rozier. Another shot. And he can't get that one. Nice D from Thompson. For Houston, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. To the middle. Stolen by Rozier. Pass to MP. Oh, MP with the hammer. Keeping his head up and staying patient. This is what you love to see from Rozier as a playmaker. 
Houston has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Thompson against Rozier. And here's Shangun. Brooks with it. Thompson outside. Just five on the clock. And it's off from three-point range. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. MP with it. Checked by Brooks. Rogier against Thompson. Fires it from 18. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Outside Eason. Brooks from outside. Knocks it down from distance. Brooks has got nine. Offensively, Brooks can be just relentless. Constantly looking for chances to get his team points. And Richard Shengun has really been impressive. A big who does a little bit of everything. Well, his passing is what's really fantastic, VA. He pulls off dimes most guards wouldn't even consider attempting. He's a player that a lot of people should start paying attention to. Shengun against Love. Pass to Brooks. Here's Eason. Launches a three. Love grabs the miss. Love's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Jovic, covered by Smith. Kicks it out to MP. Hero on the wing. Shoots over Thompson. Hero, no good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Pass to Shangun. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fifth assist in this one. He's looking much more confident here in the second quarter as far as his scoring goes. Green's checked in for the Rockets. Let's get it, bro. Just five games left on the year. Let's take a look at the current seedings in the West. Taking a look at the Rockets. Right now, they're in 10th place, hoping to get themselves into the playoff picture. I think for Houston, they're really doing their best to rise through the rankings. Time will tell whether they can pull it off. And you have to wonder if this roster can get to that next level. They have talent, but if it doesn't come together, they might have to shake it up. Down low. Here's Smith. Nice move. It's hauled in by the Heat. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive, and they've been physical. There's a screen by Love. Here's MP. Oh, MP throws it down. Okay, MP. Going deep in his bag with that move. Always resourceful. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam capturing the moment. Here's Green. He's got seven. work from green inside it doesn't get any easier than that the defense has to play better here's mp and so he draws the foul headed to the line to shoot a pair and taking a moment here a look at the best rebounders among rookies over the last month third is amen thompson and of course mp we've really seen both of them step up and become a presence in the paint recently Putting their bodies on the line to snag those boards. With MP, not only do you get a great guy, you get a player with tremendous work ethic. This guy, he is a coach's dream. And the Rockets making a change here. Shangun's checked in. And Miami with a change here, too. Terry Rozier, he's checked in for Hero. Shangun, a screen on Rozier. Green for three. Rebound by the Heat. Jovic has got six rebounds in the game. MP against Shangun. Jovic passes to Rozier. To the inside. MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. This is what I like about MP. He didn't settle. Instead, went in for the strong finish. Houston has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Rozier against Green. Pass to Shangun. Now Thompson. Shot clock at six. He shoots. 
Oh, he misses again. That makes him 0 for 8. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Out of bounds. It'll be Rockets ball. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Fred Van Vliet went from undrafted to an NBA All-Star. He said, quote, individually, there's still a lot left I want to get done. But trying to chase that next championship is what I'm locked in on. That feeling. That's right up there as far as personal journeys and accomplishments. Brian? Yeah, he's got it in the right order. Thanks, Allie. MP drives in. And MP throws it down. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Green against Rozier. Green, the pass to Brooks. Now Thompson. Shangun, the screen. Thompson with it. And that's Love picking him up defensively. And Shangun gets it to go. And he's single handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? Pass to Love. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Love's got five points. Oh, a tremendous leader. MP is always looking to get his teammates involved out there. Here's Green, and it's Houston scoring again. MP with it. And yes, another basket. And now he is tied for the second most 40-point games in an NBA season. What an incredible year. Boy, he's brought it every night, and nobody seems to have the answer for him. Yeah, 52 times he's hit that scoring mark, tying Wilt Chamberlain's 1963 season. Just saying that out loud, I still don't believe it. That'll do it for the first half. It's the Heat. They're up by 11. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us for this fun-filled burst of basketball bliss. We kick off tonight's show with the power rankings across the league. When I look at Miami, coming down the final stretch of the season, about a month left, I think they're in a pretty good spot. A uh, matter of fact, they're in the number one. And back to the matchup at hand. Everything has been going smoothly for the Heat. They're putting in work in the paint. Right now, they're the schoolyard bullies taking that lunch money. Those guys across from them, man, they got to have some backbone, Shaq. The Jet not mincing words at all. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. With a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Hey, you look at MP in this game, he's been everywhere. Yeah, tonight, he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. Smith plays the four with Shingoon at the five. Green out there with Thompson. And it's Brooks in at the three. A small forward. And that's the group for Ime Udoka as we begin the second half. To the paint. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Yeah, this is encouraging to see. Rozier actively looking to get the rock to his guys. Now here's Brooks. Inside. Out to Thompson. And it's Miami with a rebound. Love's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Smith right side. Pass to Green. Now here's Thompson, covered by MP. Thompson, 
And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Thompson's got five. You know, inside is where Thompson excels, and the concentration allowing him to finish there. To the middle. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Just such a terrific dunker. Man, born to fly, that's for sure. For Houston, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Shangun. The three is up. And it's MP with a rebound. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Rozier with it. Green covering. Green against Rozier. Ooh, stolen by Smith. Back comes Houston in transition. Green for three. Love grabs the miss. Love's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. But for the young Jabari Smith Jr., he's still finding his footing here in the league. Yeah, no one said playing in the NBA was easy. I don't care what pick you are. Smith has big expectations on his shoulders, Grant, but I think he's done a pretty good job so far. Back to Thompson. Over MP. Here's Shangun. Oh, he drains it. His sixth make in nine tries so far. He's got a knack for those putbacks, so you have to be aware of that defensively. Get a body on him. Rozier, the pass to Jaquez. Now MP, defended by Thompson. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. MP, no good. The Rockets have gone three of seven here in this third quarter. And the foul called on MP. That's foul number two for him. And RJ team's now able to add a third two-way contract to the roster. A lot of quality players getting a foothold into the league now. Yeah, you think of names like Alex Caruso, Lou Dort, able to develop in both the G League and in the association. So many players have really gotten their footing inside that G League. Hawkins, the pass to MP. Thompson with a steal. Brooks, right side. And the foul called on MP. That's his third foul so far. Second team foul. Third quarter action. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. Green finds Thompson. Here's Shangun. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got eight assists here tonight. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And MP throws it down. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. He's locked in with his teammates right now, setting guys up in perfect position. Thompson passes to Green. Back to Thompson. There's the triple. Jaquez grabs the board. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. Outside love. On the wing, Rozier. Here's Jovic. Counted from distance. And now a 12-point Miami lead. This is that modern big man play. Tall guys who are comfortable draining shots from deep. Pass to Smith. Outside, Green. Shangun passes to Green. And out of bounds. The Heat will take it. And let's jump over to the rookie leaderboard, showing the most efficient scores. MP, number one. And looking at those numbers, how can you not be excited about this guy's future? For a rookie in this league, he's scoring the ball at an efficient clip already. And checking out some numbers for Jalen Green. And he's gone cold over the last 10 games, guys. His scoring numbers are down, and he can't seem to get out of this rough patch. He's got to get himself going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. Rozier, the pass to MP. Pass to Love. MP outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Outside Love. Shoots over Shingun. And it's Love missing. Uh, gives me credit the defense for that one going wide. They did everything they could to influence the shot. On the wing, Green, pounded by Rozier. Back to Brooks. Now Thompson for three. Rebound by the Heat. Love's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. 
MP outside. Rozier outside. Love a screen on green. Rozier from outside. It's rebounded by Shangoon. Shangoon's got his sixth rebound on the night. Now here's Thompson. Tightly guarded. Pass to Brooks. Outside, green. Now here's Shangoon. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got his fourth assist in this one. Here's Rozier. 11 points in the game. Here's Jaquez. Here's MP. And MP. Home on the taller defender. <laughs> Wet swag. And here's Thompson. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. Down by 12. Here's Shangoon. That one is off. Love with the defensive effort. Miami has got six out of 15 three so far in this game. Shangoon against MP. Down low. Pass to Jovic. Six to shoot. And there's the screen. Connects from downtown. Rozier's got 14 points. An improved shooter from downtown. Rozier has been consistent in adding this to this game over the years. Timeout called. Houston. MP really making a difference here. <laughs> they need to rethink their approach defensively. He's shown no signs of stopping. So for the Rockets. Nance, he's checked in for Shangun. And Eason subbed in for Smith. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. Tyler Hero comes in for Rozier. Tries a 10-footer. Miami grabs the miss. They led by as many as 18. Here's MP. Nice D from Thompson. Houston has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Now here's Brooks. He's covered closely. Pass to Thompson. Takes a three. Rebounded by Jovic. Jovic has got seven rebounds in the game. Over to the wing. Hero outside. To the inside. Here's MP. It's rebounded by Houston. Thompson's got four rebounds now. Three-pointer Brooks. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got nine assists now tonight. And he's much more comfortable shooting off a pass. Brooks with a nice shot. To the middle. Here's MP. Can't get it to fall. Houston has gone just one of six from long distance here in the third. The shots just aren't falling. Pass to Brooks. Nance with it. Back to Thompson. Shot clock at six. That shot off. For Miami, they've gone six of 13 to open up this second half. MP with it. Nance covering. Hero outside. There's a minute 26 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Inside. Pass to Brooks. Puts up a three. And the Rockets hit again from deep. Yeah, I know the guys love to see Brooks get in a groove like this. It gets the whole team fired up. Martin outside. Here's Hawkins. No made baskets yet. MP finds Hero. Back to MP. Driving inside. Eason pulls it in. The Rockets trail. And here's Brooks. He's got 15. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. From 12 feet. Unable to get that one. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. Kicks it out to MP. 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's the pick. Pass to Jovic. Now Hero to win the drought. Thompson pulls it in. 
Thompson's got a rebound number five here tonight. Fires from way outside. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And so it's Miami. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Getting lots of great looks. Shooting it well. That's why they're up. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass. Flat out. Good getting ready for the Rockets. Smith, he's checked in for Finney Smith. Dylan Brooks comes in for Easton. Thompson, he's checked in for Tate. And Jalen Green subbed in for Holiday. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Love passes to MP. There's a screen by Love. To the left wing. To the left side wing. To the paint. Stolen by Thompson. Setting the floor for the heat. Terry Rozier is out there with MP. Then there's Kevin Love. And it's Jaquez in at the small forward position. And it's Green missing. Yeah, no triples for him here in the second half. One fell in the first, though. Can he turn it up? They set the pick. MP with it. Guarded by Smith. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Fantastic drive to the rim. MP knows how to convert once he gets in this close. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Heat. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. They're also doing a good job working the ball inside tonight. The defense has been struggling to slow them down there in the paint. Here's Green. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. There's one principal reason why they're sitting on this lead. Rebounding to the inside. Another one goes! Incredible! <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. Green against Rozier. Shangun, the screen. Here's Green. Another miss by Green. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. MP, the pass to Love. It's stolen by Green. Pass break. Here come the Rockets. And a foul called on MP. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. His fourth personal foul. We'll see how the coaching staff handles this. So it's the Rockets now. It's a 10-point game. Richard taking a look at Jalen Green's career so far. He's certainly not bashful shooting the ball. No, and I think it's because his coaches and teammates want him to be confident, B.A., because once he gets a few to fall, man, this man becomes very dangerous. And for Green, it's about focusing on taking high percentage shots. When he does this, he's an effective player. Pass to Jovic. The three nails it from beyond the arc. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Shangun, a screen on MP. Here's Thompson. And the layup is good off the glass. We see a taste of Thompson's ridiculous athleticism. Keeping his body under control while taking a hit. They set the screen. Inside. Kicks it out to MP. Down low. Ooh, stolen by Smith. Fast break. Here come the Rockets. The open shot by Brooks. Drains the jumper to finish off the break. Heads up play by Smith. Giving it away instead of forcing something. On the wing, MP. Pass to Jovic. Here's Rozier. Green covering. And here's MP from outside. The Rockets pull it in. Smith's got six rebounds in the game. And here is Green. Over Love. That one's good from Green. And the assist by Smith. The nice handle move there by Green. And it's Rozier with the ball for the Miami Heat. They led by... Here's MP. And another shot. Clock at six. Jovic passes to Rozier. 
from behind the arc. It's rebounded by Shangoon. Shangoon's got rebound number eight now. Well, despite some uneven shooting for him, they're still out in front. That's a key foul. That's his fifth. He's got to be smart the rest of the way. Well, Grant Ahmed Thompson is proof there are more routes than ever to get to the league. I mean, yeah. I mean, he and his twin brother, Asar, coming through overtime elite. A different path, but both high lottery picks. And it worked out for them both. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. Tyler Hero comes in for Rozier. MP with it. And it's Shangun picking him up. MP, a screen on green. Hero with the bucket. Nice feed by MP, a popular guy in this locker room. Green against Hero. And it's hammered home by Green. How about Jalen Green stepping up, showing poise in a big spot. And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, bringing you the sauce. Miami's gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. To the middle. Here's MP. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. Houston has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Hero against Green. It's hauled in by the Heat. Now MP. Driving in. MP throws it down off the drive. Creating offense with his first-rate handles. MP has the ball on a string. Houston now. Time running out. Green in the post. He's guarded by Hero. And it's Green missing. The Heat have gone 7-14 here in the fourth from the floor. Hawkins, the pass to Martin. That one rolls around and rims out. Well, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. Here's Green. Cashes in the 12-footer. Green's got seven points here in the quarter. I know it's not in vogue right now, but for guys like Green, there are points to be had in that mid-range. And if he throws it down. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. And the Rockets shooting just around 45% on the fourth. Outside, Green. Again, Green missing. And for Miami, they're shooting 55% for the game so far. Hero with it. And it's Shangun picking him up. Here's Love. Good. And the assist goes to MP. And now a 10-point heat lead. you got to be tougher than this to stop Love. He's really smart at scoring through tight coverage. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard Ime Udoka as he talked with the team. He asked his team to take in the moment, saying, this is what it's all about, guys. This is why we work so hard and why we love this game. Embrace it. Back to you guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Heat. They were the more accurate club. And in the end, that made the difference, Grant. Yeah, B.A., you have to love their strategy. And even more, you love the execution. And this team is something else. 64 wins. These guys have had quite the year. And they meet just twice. So taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for M.P. He did a great job following his team's game plan and not rushing anything on offense, which allowed him to catch fire. And the Rockets going with a whole new group out there. He hits the second from the line. And grant the resiliency and determination of the Heat not to be underestimated. Well, B.A., last season became just the second eighth seed in NBA history to advance to the finals. And Jimmy Butler said it. We don't care if you pick us to win. We never have. We never will. The last one's off. They'll settle for two. 
Well, Grant, the Rockets finished at the bottom of the Western Conference for three straight seasons and got some high draft picks as a result. And B.A., no one likes losing, but Houston has to be happy with the talented young prospects they've been able to select. It'll be interesting to watch their growth as individuals and as a team. Inside. Oh, stolen by Tate. They're running. On up the court. Nice shot by Finney Smith. Transition basketball. The most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yeah, when you hustle on the break like he does, good things tend to happen. Bryant, left side. And it's stolen by Finney Smith. Out to the wing. Here's Easton. Back to Tate. Puts up a deep three. Off on that one. So, no problem for Miami. As they get the win, it ends up being a... Sunday afternoon with the NBA here on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone, and our broadcast team tonight. Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right and the Hall of Famer David Aldridge along the sideline. So the opening lineup for the Heat, MP out there with Rozier, and there's Kevin Love, and it's Hawkeyes in at the three, the small forward. And for the Pacers, they've got Benedict Matherin. Siakam is out there with Turner. Then it's Halliburton, and it's Nemhard in at the two spot. And one thing, Greg, you notice about both these teams, they look to play through the passing game. And all the better for us. I mean, as fans of the game, seeing that kind of flow and teamwork, it just makes the game fun to watch. And so it's the Heat hitting on the board first. Halliburton outside. Six to shoot from past the arc. Hands it from downtown. High IQ play by Halliburton. Breaking down the defense with a pick and creating for himself. And stolen by Siakam. And here's the fast break. Siakam leading the way. And a wide open look for Matherin. Nails the corner three. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. MP left side. And MP throws it down. And once Rozier spots that hole in the defense, he just doesn't hesitate. Just sends the ball to an open shooter. Now, here is Halliburton. He's someone who's a factor on any given night, averaging more than 22 points a game. The shot by Turner, no good. And here's Miami coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road but they found ways to get their guys good looks you know what it is that's good advanced scouting they knew what they were in for and they were ready 
MP right side. Will not go. This is off the front eye. For Indiana, they've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Outside Matherin for three, Siakam. Rebound love. The Heat have gone two or three here to start out the game. And there's the pass to Hawkes. Rogier for three. It's rebounded by Indiana. Year in and year out, Smitty. The Heat bring energy and commitment to the defensive end. Kevin, the Miami Heat has a strong culture. And they've done a good job bringing in players that match their identity. It's led to a great deal of success. Outside for Halliburton. Misses the three. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Love, no luck. And for the Pacers, they come in off a great outing against the Thunder. Yeah, and, and in that game, you see how they built out this roster, acquiring role players who can step up when needed. And a strong bench gives you the flexibility to bring someone in and exploit a certain matchup. Now, here's MP. Following the miss by Miles Turner. Here's MP. Good ball movement here by the Heat. And the shot is good. Spreading the wealth. MP just MP. has a knack for doing that on and off the court. Indiana's gone 2 of 5 from three point land here in the first quarter. Pass to Siakam. And finished off by Siakam. And how about he takes on the defender head on and then throws down the two hand guy. Straight power there. Straight power. And MP throws it down. And when MP gets that close to the rim, you know he is looking to finish with authority. Passes it to Turner. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. Over Rozier. The shot's good from Halliburton. Halliburton's got seven points. The Heat trail by four. Pass to MP. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Rozier's got three assists in the game. And Siakam has got the ball here for Indiana. The Heat beat them last time when these two teams met down in South Florida. And it's going to come down to effort tonight. Last time they met each other, they were demolished on the boards, and that rebounding difference led to a sizable loss. If you don't have that one guy who gets you 10-plus boards every night, just have to send more guys to the glass. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Pacers have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Here's Nemhard, covered by MP. Can't cash in on the 10 foot jump. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Going inside, he goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Miles' turn. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Believe it or not, the regular season is almost over, Greg, for teams that are out of the playoff picture. What's important now? Well, I, I think, Kevin, first you need to self-evaluate. You have to check out your roster. Who do you keep? Who do you let go? And then once you figure that out, you start thinking about which guys to bring in. Shot clock at five. Siakam, that's good. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Here's the feed to MP. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. Rogier's got four assists now tonight. And it is hard to hold MP down. He just keeps coming at you. What a night. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. A moment to check out MP here. He's been on a tremendous roll since the All-Star break. First in shooting percentage. And he's in the top five in assists per game as well. He sees the floor and makes the game easier for his teammates. And his scoring abilities are just so far out of sight. Number one overall right now. No one's been able to slow him down or even come close. Pacers on defense. Following the basket by MP. 
The Heat need to get a shot off. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's a call. It's on Indiana with the foul. And what you appreciate about MB is how he can kill the MB, someone his guys love playing with. Here is something, Greg, from Pacers history. They were a dynasty at one point, and you remember it well. Yeah, you're talking about the ABA days, but it's true. The, the Pacers were a dominant team before the merger. They won three titles in four seasons just before joining the league. The Heat with the lead to the inside. Turner with the steal. 11 feet away, a shot by McConnell, no good. For Miami, they've gone 8 of 11 in the first quarter. They'll take that percentage any night. MP kicks to Hero. To the left side wing. Hakez with the buck. Continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. Siakam with it. Coming off a stellar performance against Oklahoma City. Wants to get it to Turner and does. The pass to McConnell. Here's Nemo. It's good from long range. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. Here's McConnell. Still yet to score. Pass to Matherin. Baseline try. Rebound by the Heat. Jovic has got five rebounds tonight. To the middle. Here's MP. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And now a five-point Miami lead. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Passes to Siakam. We've got 155 left here in the opening quarter. Miami's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. The three sinks the triple. Hakez has got his second bucket of the night. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Indiana's gone four or seven from three-point range so far in the first. McConnell scanning the floor. Pass to Turner. Indiana moving it around. Siakam inside the three-point line. Indiana again missing. And that one gives them a plus-five rebound advantage, Kevin. Love with the screen for MP. Love, no luck. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Hey, Greg, we love watching T.J. McConnell on the forts. It's like watching a guard from a couple decades ago. And Kevin, this guy's just an old And passing and great at both of those as an undersized guard in today's NBA. You know what you love seeing from Pascal Siakam is his confidence continuing to grow. And Kevin, especially when it comes to scoring, Pascal understands how valuable he is to his team and how much they lean on him to step up on that end. Miami leading by four. Brian a screen on Halliburton. MP through the net again. He's done that 10 times tonight, and he's only needed 11 shots to get there. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Now, here's Halliburton. He's got seven. A bona fide playmaker. Halliburton makes his teammates better. Here's MP, and the dunk by MP. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. You know what it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. 13 feet away. And it's Halliburton missing. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Halliburton outside. 
And so it's MP making things happen for the Miami Heat. He has really delivered at the offensive end. He's torched them for 24 points so far. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. time out of the game and now let's find out who the top rookie setup men have been since the all-star break with this look at the assist rankings mv is number one he's making progress in his first season in the league and his command of their offense and opposing defenses improves every time he takes the floor down low mp gets the job done inside Inside, MP does a good job of just asserting himself, doing what needs to be done to get that finish. On the court for the Heat, we've got Caleb Martin. Terry Rozier is out there with MP. Then it's Tyler Hero. And it's Jovic in at the five spot. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey guys, MP in the last time out against Houston lit up the floor. He finished with 59 points and did his role for his team, grabbing any rebounds that came his way. And those are big numbers he put up. It's hard to match. But he'll be aiming high again tonight. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. Greg, it was obvious. He was having a lot of fun out there. Tremendous victory. Uh, I'll tell you, he may have been enjoying himself, but whoever was matched up against him certainly wasn't. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. Frank, you look at the size of some of these point guards now. Magic Johnson would feel right at home. <laughs> yeah. It's a part of a larger trend with all the switching defensively. If you have just one smaller guy on the floor, he is going to get targeted. Good on the second free throw. Greg, in terms of the Pacers' last few seasons, some have pointed to their relative lack of size. What do you think? Well, I think a big push for them this summer was adding to their front court, particularly getting more size at the forward positions. And I think they've improved in that regard. Man, and wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. MP, no good. Pacers trail by eight. The shot's good from Halliburton. Halliburton's got five points now in the quarter. For a skinny guy, Halliburton has a lot of confidence inside. In fact, he's confident in everything he does. I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Now, here is Halliburton. He had 13 points in the win against Oklahoma City. And some of the passes he threaded through the defense were just incredible. He made it look so easy. Using a unique blend of power and finesse, Turner could make some tough baskets down low. Rozier, the pass to Martin. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Martin's got 10 points. They have leaned on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Halliburton passes to Nemar. Back to Halliburton. Up and in on the layup. 14 points for him. And Halliburton not afraid to work for it on offense, taking the contact and still getting the finish. And some changes here for the Pacers. Siakam is checked in for Chapman. And it's Benedict Mann. Now here's Love. He averages a bit over six points a game. The pass to MP. MP going right to the rim. No. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. He feeds it to Turner. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at six. Here's Siakam. And the Pacers tack on two more. 
And for a big man, Siakam handles it well, playing with confidence in these pick and roll sets. MP with it. Halliburton picks him up, and it's sent back by Turner. And that'll be Miami as it goes out of bounds. The Heat retain possession. And here's MP for three. Sinks the three-pointer. MP's got 34 points. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Pass to Siakam. Over Martin. And the shot falls short this time. Well, he leading by 10. In the corner, it's MP. Off target with his three. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Pacers. When this game is done, they'll be off to take on the Raptors. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. Nemhard's shot is good. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Their offense is starting to show. Now, Hero, he gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. MP with a screen on Halliburton. Hero passes to MP. And MP throws it down. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Pacers trail by 10. Here's Nemo. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. For Indiana, they have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. Well, he leading by seven. To the paint. Here's MP. Nemhard grabs the board. Indiana's gone six of 11 when they're taking the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Passes it to Halliburton. That's in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. And once Halliburton hits his stride, there's just very little you can do defensively, proving how dominant he can be. Oh, Greg, there's a lot of impressive things about Tyrese Halliburton, most notably how efficient he is. Yeah, Kevin, those percentages are terrific. But not only that, he's phenomenal at it, making sure he keeps his teammates involved just a remarkable young point guard now here's mp following the miss by tyrese halliburton three-pointer martin good and the assist goes to mp martin's got 13 points in just this quarter inside here's turner it's hauled in by the heat they've held a 12-point lead early martin the screen here comes MP right there. That is highlight real stuff from MP. And look at MP giving the people what they want with that incredible slam. Nice job capturing the moment on the AT&T 5G slam camp. Pacers trail by 10. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana. And Miami with a change here, too. Rogier's checked in. Matherin passes to McConnell. Back to Matherin. To the inside. Turner. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Turner's got his second bucket of the night. And using that improved court awareness, Turner continues to make plays out of the pick and roll. Time now for an injury report. Now let's check in with David Aldridge and see how Kevin Love's doing. David? Kevin, I caught up with the head athletic trainer from Miami. He said it appears to be a moderate wrist sprain. Hopefully, Kevin will be able to still see him out on the floor with his team during the playoffs. David, thanks for checking in. On top of it is all. 
It's interesting. Even with the advancements in strength and conditioning, injuries continue to impact the game. And we're seeing that across all sports. Guys are just getting bigger, faster. The human body can take only so much. Now, here's McConnell. Following the miss by MP. Siakam for three. Miami grabs the miss. Jovic has got seven rebounds in the game. The drive by and good. And there's another. With 40 points in the game, he has claimed the number two spot now. And GA every game, he has been a huge threat to just explode on the offensive end. What a marvelous year for him. And now an amazing 53 games of 40 or more points passing Wilt's mark set back in 1963. The incredible 62 effort of Chamberlain still looms as the top spot. Elevating his playmaking over time, Siakam recognizes when his teammates have clean looks. Here's MP, and MP throws it down. Ooh, just powered it down with both hands. You know he's not going to mess that one up. Oh, no, not this fella. He is a superb finisher. Now, here's McConnell. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Atherin passes to Nemo. Lock at six. Turner with the screen. Takes the 13-footer, and it's MP with the rebound. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Rogier for three. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's the Miami Heat in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. Back to the action in just a minute. Welcome, everyone, as we dig into the details, things working out so far for the Miami Heat. Well, they're winning with better offense. They're moving the ball well, getting high percentage shots. This is what efficiency looks like, guys. Near flawless execution, no doubt about it. But we still have another half to go. Okay, now we've got some time to take a look at the Eastern Conference standings as the postseason comes into view. Well, right now for the Heat, sitting in first place, they've taken care of business. With the playoffs fast approaching, they're where they need to be. And we'll see how that home court advantage translates down the stretch. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Benedict Matherin is out there with Pascal Siakam. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. Then it's turn. And it's Nemhard in at the two guard spot. So that's who Rick Carlisle starts the second half with. What's up? On the free throw, no good. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. It's a 10-point game. Pass to Nemo. Back to Halliburton. Let's it go from 11. Kicks it out to Siakam. Fires from 18. It's hauled in by MP. MP's got four rebounds now tonight. Knocks it loose. Halliburton with the steal. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. They got for us, D.A. 
Thank you, Kevin. The Pacers are forming chemistry. Tyrese Halliburton said in recent years, they were saying the locker room was a quiet place, not many conversations. We've tried to impact the culture and create a different atmosphere. It's genuine. We appreciate and love each other. We want to see each other succeed and prove people wrong. Kevin? Yeah, no, you agree with me. They are on their way. Now, here is Halliburton. Following the miss by MP, the pass to Siakam. Back to Halliburton. It's rebounded by Jovic. Jovic has got eight rebounds in this game. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. Rozier kicks to MP. Pass to Hockett. They set the pick. Over Halliburton. Hawkes with the bucket. Hawkes has got his third basket of the night. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. On the wing, Turner. Back to Halliburton. Turner with a screen on MP. Here's Nemo. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. It's always a surefire way to get back in the game. And let's take this opportunity to show you the most productive rookie rebounders of the last 10 games. Fourth, MP. He's been playing some very determined basketball here lately. It's showing in those rebounding numbers. throw good Martin Caleb Martin really pushes himself out there whether that's playing through a minor injury or challenging the defense he's not one to back down that one misses Smitty we know the list of players from Cameroon is short but very talented yes it is Kevin Pascal Siakam one of the few players out of Cameroon another one Joel Embiid that's a lot of talent you know, Greg, one thing you got to admire about Miles Turner is how sensational a shot blocker he is. Every year among the leaders in the NBA. And Kevin, such a dependable defensive anchor. Someone that just reads shooters well, knows when to go after the block. All three throws good from Turner. And a lot gets said about Turner's defensive impact. But he's been cultivating his offensive game as well, becoming a bigger threat in that regard. Oh, taking it to the rack with power, hammering down the two-hand slam. At the top of the key, Turner. Passes it to Halliburton. From 10 feet out, it's rebounded by Jovic. The Heat leading by 11. Now, MP. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. From downtown, it's rebounded by Indiana. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. Halliburton finds Turner. Now, Matherin to the middle. Here's Siakam. No good that time. Good defense by MP. I can see he's pressing a little now, trying desperately to help them shrink this deficit. Good ball movement here by Miami. Here's Martin. Good D by Siakam. Pacers trail by 11. Halliburton outside. Three-pointer. Buries the long-range jumper. Halliburton's got 19 points. We've seen him shoot at 40% from deep for a season. So Halliburton, accurate from three-point land. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. And Halliburton's got the ball here for Indiana. Pass to Matherin. Back to Turner. It's rebounded by Jovic. Jovic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. 
It's Martin on the wing. Here's Hawkes, defended by Matherin. Let's a floater go. Basket counts. Hawkes Good night, Idol. Thank you very much, Miss Lovey. Sa patamblay niya. Yeah. Salamat. Good night, Idol. Pushed around on that low block. Here's Nemhard, covered by MP. Siakama screen on Rozier. Sige po, view terrors na para maagang magising para bukas. Salamat. Halliburton That's in, and the Miami lead is cut down to 10 on the bucket from Halliburton. And, you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. MP, no good. Indiana's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Matherin with a screen for Halliburton. Down low, there's the pass to Nemhart. Back to Turner. Rebound by the Heat. MP's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Hawkins. Back to MP. And stolen by Siakam. A finish. Here's Nemo. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Neesmith, he's checked in for Benedict Matherin. Heat also with the sub. Tyler Hero, he's checked in for Terry Rozier. Well, Heat leading by nine. Outside, Mark throws it up high. Hawkes can't hit. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off, and sometimes that's all it takes. And Halliburton slams it in. When he wants to, Halliburton can get to the hoop. Well, he is tough to slow down. To the paint, here's MP, and MP throws it down. You gotta love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Now, here's Siakam. He's got nine. Pulls it up. Again, Indiana. How about those handles? Siakam finding ways to get the better of the defense. Out on the screen, MP with it. Halliburton picks him up and stolen by Siakam. Here's Nemo. That three off the mark. Miami leading by seven. Out on the screen. Over in the corner, Hero. Shot from the wing. Pacers with the rebound. Siakam's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Kicks it to Turner. Pass to Halliburton. Turner with a screen for Siakam. Pass to Neesmith. Launches a three. That ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. Neesmith has got ten points. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. What I like during this run, they paid incredible attention to the details at both ends. That needs to continue. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Back to Turner. To the wing on the left. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Here's Siakam. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. Can beat you from mid-range as well. Siakam adding more nuances to his game every year. Hero kicks to MP. One oh five left in the third quarter of the game. And the three ball is good. 17 points in the game. And the three-point shot has just been money so far tonight. Timeout called the Pacers. In addition to going over...
here's Hero. It's stolen by Smith. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. He's got Rogier. He's out there with them in at the center, filling out the middle. And that's right in to get the ball to someone you can rely on. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. A shot by Nemhard, no good. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Watch out, MP, finishing the drive. So many good things happen when you penetrate. Attack that defense, MP. Pacers trail by eight. Halliburton deciding where to go with it. Here's Nemhard. Takes it from 10. It's hauled in by Hero. Hero's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's MP. Here he goes. And the dunk by MP. Really, really good possession there. They've never lost their focus, even as the game's gotten tight. With their lead starting to stretch out just a little bit here late, they're in a prime position now to wrap this one up. Here's Halliburton. Indiana again, missing. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for Miami. There's the pick. Over in the corner, Hero. Back to MP. Over in the corner, Rozier. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. MP's got his seventh assist in the game. Here's Halliburton. Toppin sets a screen for Halliburton. Over Rozier. That's in, and the Miami lead is cut down to 11 on the bucket from Halliburton. Yeah, the touch on Halliburton's shot really opens the floor up for him, letting him get to that mid -range. Now a timeout called by Miami. And some changes here for the Pacers. Turner's checked in for Jalen Smith. Pascal Siakam comes in for Toppin. And it's Benedict Matherin in for Neesmith. And Miami with a change here, too. Martin's checked in. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. Here's Halliburton. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. Halliburton's got 38 points. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Here's Jovic. Oh, good with the triple. Pacers trail by 11. Halliburton outside. Siakam a screen on Hero. And a wide open look for Halliburton. Off target from outside. MP outside. Jovic, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Oh, I love that dish down low. The Pacers shooting it well here in the fourth quarter, 50%. Halliburton up top. He's covered by Hero. Halliburton against Hero. Halliburton passes to Siakam. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Third personal foul. Tough to contain Siakam around the rim. He has underrated strength. So he comes up empty at the line. And it's Martin missing. Pacers trail by 13. Left side, Matherin. Shoots over Hero, and it's Matherin missing. Miami has gone a disappointing 2-6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. MP deciding where to go with it. Let's it fly. Hero, no good. Missed opportunity wide open for mid-range. He would love to get that one back. Halliburton passes to Nemo. Shoots from 12, and that's good for two. 130 left in the fourth.
Miami leading by 11. MP outside. Marquez the pass to MP. Martin with the screen for MP. Outside Martin. Good in the assist goes to MP. Martin's got the lead up to 13 now for the Heat. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Reason why they tighten up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Heat. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders. And on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the boards. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. In what's really been a fantastic year, these guys expect to win each night just as they've done here tonight. And this will end up another big win, making it 65 on the season. And they've really had a dominant run of games against this opponent this year. They played them three times and won every one. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for MP. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't. Great effort. Nicely done. You've been on an unbelievable tear lately, breaking the record for consecutive 50-point games. Do you worry that you're setting the bar too high? Is anything less than this going to be a disappointment? I mean, I'm all about setting the bar high and pushing myself to new heights. There's always a risk of falling short, but that's the nature of the game. Um, the key is to Focus on the process, not the outcome. I'm going to continue to work hard, stay focused, and give 100% effort every time I step on the court. Uh, that's what's most important to me, and that's what determines my success. If you don't set the bar high, you aren't challenging yourself, and you won't get better.
The Hawks on their way to the locker room earlier, hoping to send their fans home happy tonight. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on 2K Sports. With our analysts, Brent Barry and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson, along with reporter Ali LaForce. And let's check Miami's starting lineup. Terry Rozier is out there with MP. Then there's Caleb Martin. Then it's Thomas Bryant. And it's Hawkes in at the small forward position. And for Atlanta, the talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. Clint Capella out there with Johnson. And it's Bay in at the small forward. Here's Rozier following the score by Atlanta. And coming down the stretch of the regular season, Brent. How does the assignment change for teams prepping for the playoffs? There's a lot of preparation, B.A., around the health of your team and fine-tuning some things. So if that seating is still important. These games can take on a little bit different level of intensity. And so Murray will bring it up for the Hawks. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Here's Rozier. MP outside. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That one on Murray. And the defense knows they got to cover MP very close. But he gets physical and exploits the coverage there for a foul. Bogdanovich has checked in for DeJounte Murray. And both free throws good for MP. And for the past few seasons, the Hawks have been driven by their offense, Brent. And they really have done a nice job of finding some wing scoring to complement what it is they've gotten from the guard position. And they put an emphasis on the three-point line. They made a coaching change, and that philosophy is also helping lead them to be a more potent offense night after night. Now here's MP. Really played well against Indiana in his last game. Offensive rebound. Pass to Hawkes. Let's the three fly. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. He did. I mean, MP understands how to read a defense, including how to spot over commitments and getting it to open teammates. Young, always a nice way to start, makes his first one. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. To the paint. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. And he's not the flashiest, but MP can punch his ticket when the time comes. Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Young looking around. And that one makes him 2 for 2. He's in his rhythm. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. To the inside. Oh, and the dunk by MP. What vision from Rozier there, seeing his teammate was wide open and making the right pass. Young against Rozier. Here's Bay. Banked it in off the glass. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Martin. And the Heat, another three. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Outside Johnson. Drops in the layup for two. Johnson's got his second basket of the game. And look at that. The vision is why Trey Young can get you double-digit assists. Down low. Here's MP. He got a piece of it. And he's able to get it back. Bryant, the pass to Jaquez. Inside, here's MP, and MP throws it down. MP being relentless in his approach, it serves him well on the offensive boards. And Young has got the ball here for the Hawks. They trail by six. They're coming off a win against the Nuggets. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. That never stopped working. One of those games were just... Everybody was making shots, continual flow, and a very professional win. So it's Miami now. The Hawks getting their last shot to go. Here's Bryant inside, guarded by Capella. And yep, it's good. Well, the interior D was there, but Bryant just too big and committed to try to find a way to score. 
right at the free throw line. And the Hawks tack on two more. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Young against Rozier. Martin a screen. Pass to Hawkes. Shoots. That one a little long. The Hawks trailing. Bay outside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. How about Sadiq Bay, a guy who's growing into a floor spacing threat now, Brent? Yeah, incredibly focused BA on developing those skills to be a sniper at the three point line. He wants to stretch the floor out, and he has to do that consistently by knocking down shots. Here's MP, and MP throws it down. I don't know why we say this, but big men sharing the ball, we like that. It doesn't matter. Big, small, we'll take a good pass. The Hawks have gone 7 of 9, a solid percentage so far. Rozier against Young. The shot that time, not on target. Oh, nice D from Rozier. Pass to Hakez. Rozier outside. Off target from outside. Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Here we go, one on one. MP, the pass to Rogier, to the paint. Here's MP. The second effort. Rebounded by Johnson. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Pass to Young. Shot clock at five. Capella, screen on Rogier. Oh, had a nice open look right there. Young's got nine. Here's Rozier. Yet to see a basket. Martin outside. MP with it. The three. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. To the middle. Here's Bogdanovich. That one's good. And it's Young with the assist. Young's got three assists tonight. Now Bogdanovich focused on scoring on the inside, and he gets close to the basket. It looked like he was hungry to get two. You gotta love his unselfishness, and you know his coach does as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. Out left to the wing. Beyond the arc. And again, Miami with a triple. Outstanding long-range shooting here early. They already have hit multiple shots from downtown. Pass to Johnson. To the inside. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. A dynamic finish, then decides to hang out a little for good measure. <laughs> yep, that's the exclamation point right there. Now here's MP. 15 points in the game, and MP throws it down. Maybe if I had the clipboard and was coaching this team, I'd look to MP on every trip. He's just that good. To the middle. Here's Bay. And the dunk by Bay. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. MP against Bogdanovich. And MP throws it down. I don't think the defense saw it coming. MP really quick into the gap. Atlanta's gone one for three from beyond the arc. Bogdanovich on the wing. Johnson a screen on MP. Bogdanovich passes to Johnson. MP with it. Now Bogdanovich defending. Martin. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on Young. And Martin doesn't fear anything. He loves. Here's 
Rozier. In his last outing, eight points for him. Griffin is out there with DeAndre Hunter. Then it's Trey Young. Then it's John Conchar. And it's a Kongwu in at the center position, locking down the middle. So that's the Hawks' five. Conchar, the pass to a Kongwu. Back to Conchar. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on MP. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. And the first one at the line is good. Brad, you had a terrific mid-range game. It feels like more players are going back to that now. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, B.A. The analytics say dunks and three-pointers. But that makes your offense almost just two-dimensional. In many cases, too predictable. You're seeing more and more players, particularly the elite ones, finding comfort in the mid-range. Here's MP. Rebound Atlanta. And at home for the next game, it'll be Charlotte pulling in to face him. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Pass to Hunter. Capella, screen on Martin. Hunter passes to Capella. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And one thing you like about Capella, he really understands who he is as a player. Well, this guy is the definition of a rim runner, protects the rim and rebounds. He does all the dirty work for this team, and he's willing to do that. That's how he makes his living. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Pacers was simply terrific. He finished with 60 points and did what he always does. He got others involved. His numbers from that game jump off the stat sheet. He was just superb. Guys, let's see if he can do it again. Outstanding. Thanks. Impressive ability to carry his team to victory, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I was really impressed. They wouldn't have won the game if it wasn't for his attacking mindset and will to win. Yeah, going up against a team that had no answer for him. We'll see if it plays out the exact same way here tonight. Man, good whistle there. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Heat? Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. Bryant, he's checked in for Miami. Young, the pass to Capella. Back to Young. Conchar, outside. Capella, screen on MP. Down low, five on the clock. Capella, the pass to Conchar. Another three for Atlanta. Well, Capella at that size really has no issues spotting the open man. And he packs it home. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Young against Rozier. This one for three. The shot won't fall. Excellent D there from Bryant. And so MP will bring it up for Miami. They've led by as many as 11. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. And as a rule of thumb, the road can really test your team's depth. But they all stepped up and collectively produced a lot of points. Yeah, and watching that, all kinds of contributions and just little things that guys were doing to chip in for that win. Rozier against Young. And here's Hunter from the arc. And there's the call on Sadiq Bey. That's his first foul of the game. Timeout called. The Heat will grant the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, B.A., more methodical, definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. Johnson, he's checked in for Atlanta. DeJounte Murray comes in for Conchar. Martin, the pass to MP. Here's Hero. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Hero's got his second basket. Hero sticking with it through contact. That's not easy. Capella, screen on MP. Murray passes to Capella. Second chance effort, and that one's good. That's a testament to the effort there on the boards. Never willing to give up on the possession, finding ways to sniff out the ball. MP outside. Martin with a screen on Murray. MP, the pass to Martin. Rozier against Young. Releases. Rozier can't get it to go. 
Okay? And he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. From eight feet. And Hero grabs the board. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. This first half has been all him. He's getting to his spots and going to work. Atlanta's gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Inside, stolen by Rozier. Here's Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. And Bryant getting ahead of the pack. The Hawks have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Here's Young. Takes it inside. He's now eight for 11 after that made shot. He's trying to will this team back into it. Doing all he can offensively. To the paint. Here's MP. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got five rebounds in the game. The Hawks have gone five of ten in the second quarter. Rozier against Young. And a nice finish on the layup. Young's got nine points now in the quarter. Man, we see this from Trey often, his ability to take over games with his scoring. Rebounded by the Hawks. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Oh, a heat check there, but it's off target. Miami has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Pass to MP. Rebound Atlanta. Johnson's got six rebounds now in the game. Rozier against Murray. Capella, screen on hero. Back to Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. I would say that Trey Young's pick and roll game is fairly advanced for a player his age. What a treat to watch. And let's take this chance to call out our Eastern Conference Player of the Week, MP. When you think about everything he's done on the offensive end, he's more than deserving of this award. He put his team on his back when it came to putting points on the board. To the middle. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Here's Bufkin, pounded by Rozier. Bufkin with the bucket. The Heat with the lead. Martin, right side. Down low. Here's MP. MP getting it done inside. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. Here's Bufkin, pounded by Rozier. Inside. Murray, shot is good. Murray's gotten his first points in this one. Boy, Murray just one of those guys who loves to work it inside. Martin outside. Back to Rozier. Pass to MP. Martin right side. Good. And the assist goes to MP. MP's got four assists in the game. Working in close to the rim. Martin knows how to finish strong. Here's Bufkin, pounded by Rozier. Johnson a screen on Rozier. To the inside. Pass to Bufkin. Launches it. It's hauled in by the Heat. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game. And another one! Up and up he goes as he continues this sensational season. Now closing in on second place in scoring. And with the way he has manhandled defenses all year long, you have to think he'll make a good run for it. And to even come near to Wilt Mark of 3,586 points in 1963 speaks volumes for the season he has had. Rozier from outside. Doesn't go that time. And we've reached halftime in this one. It's the Heat. They're up by 10. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half.
Hey folks, thanks for joining us. It would be an understatement to say it's been a great half for the Miami Heat. It's impressive how well they've protected the ball. No messy dribbling. They've kept it on the string, fellas, and that's prevented the other guys from getting free possessions. Certainly has been one of the difference makers in this game. All right, and now that we are in the later stages of the season, here's how the standings are looking in the East. You take a look at the Heat, with the playoffs right around the corner, they're in tremendous. They're right on top in the first half. You mean they're ruling the roost? Er, er, er. They're taking shots for every team every night, and they're still landing on top. Er, er. What's ruling the roost? Never heard that speech. Er, er. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Hey, you look at MP in this game. He's been at to the rim yeah nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease not much resistance out there setting the floor for Miami they've got Terry Rozier Caleb Martin out there with Thomas Bryant then it's MP and it's Jaquez in at the three the small forward he can really read the floor precision pass in rhythm Johnson a screen on Rozier here's Young Capella and Bryant pulls it down Bryant's got four rebounds now MP, the pass to Bryant. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. MP's got five assists tonight. The Hawks shooting has been good. 54% on this one. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian, the Hawks made the Eastern Conference Finals in 2021, but now they're looking to return to contention. Trey Young said, quote, we'll be all right. It's really just about us taking care of what we can control and making sure we're ready every night. But if we get into a rhythm... It'll take care of itself. Brian? Yep, great point. All right, Allie, thank you. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Murray, no good. The third quarter has not started well, just one of four. You know, when DeJounte Murray was traded for a multitude of first-round picks, it certainly came at a price for him. Yeah, it feels like the cost to acquire young, talented players in this league continues to go up and that said DeJounte Murray is a legit NBA all-star it feels like he still has a lot of room to grow that free throw no good yeah what you like about MP is how hard he worked to put himself in a position for success and the second free throw is good And it's Murray with the ball for the Atlanta Hawks. 15-point game. Johnson finds Young. They kick it out to Murray. With nobody on him, he buries that jumper. Murray's gotten his second bucket. Defensively, you're trying to prevent DeJounte from getting to the rim. But he can counter. That mid-range becomes deadly. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, the thing is, they're controlling the pace right now, and if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him, and that's going to be good nine out of ten times. And Bryant the bucket on the assist by MP. 
MP. MP's got his sixth assist of the night. The Hawks have got just two of six in the second half. Young, the pass to Murray. Here's Johnson. Pass to Young. Let's go with a three. And Bryant pulls it down. Bryant's got his fifth rebound in this one. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Capella with it. Now here's Murray. Puts it up from the high post. Yes, on the jumper. Murray's got six. Well, Murray continues to play aggressive, so he's going to put the heat on. Rozier against Young. Martin with a screen on Young. To the middle. Here's MP. And got it! Another basket! Scoring at a historic pace. What a treat to watch him play. Now tied for second for all-time scoring in a season. And to see his name sitting alongside the great Will Chamberlain. Obviously, elite company. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Capella with the defensive effort for Atlanta. They've gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Johnson on the wing. Murray from outside. He drops it from range. He's got nine. I mean, could we say he was playing possum a bit there in the first half? Because he seems to be a different guy out there, way more assertive. It's tipped. Ooh, stolen by Murray. Now Young. He's got 24. On the money from 12 feet away. Young's got 26 points. I don't know if any shot's a good shot, but Trey Young willing to take any shot he gets. Pass to Hawkes. Back to MP. Hey, rejected by Capella. It's stolen by MP. Outside for Rozier. Martin outside. And here's MP. Defended by Murray. MP shot is off. Atlanta's gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Over Bryant. Murray, no good. The Heat have gone seven of ten here in the second half. Here's Bryant inside. Young's there. Bryant, no good. For Atlanta, they've gotten 5 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Murray, no good. And it's the Heat with the ball. Martin with a screen on Murray. MP makes his move. Rebounded by Johnson. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. Murray finds Young. It's hauled in by the Heat. MP's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Now he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back. Another bucket! Wow! And guys, he is now second all-time for points in a season. A season for the ages scoring the ball. And while Will Chamberlain still holds the number one spot, he's able to bump Will's second best season down to third place. <laughs> That's big time. To the paint. Here's MP. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got his fifth rebound in this one. Young against Rozier. Outside Johnson. Inside. Here's Capella. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Capella's got seven points in the game. Well, you can see why Clint Capella is always up there in terms of field goal percentage in the NBA. Every season, close in shots, big time results. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by MP. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Tyler Hero. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. And the Hawks making a change here. Hunter's checked in. And Miami with a change here, too. Tyler Heroes checked in for Rozier. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. Down by 12. 
Shoots over Hero. The rebound by MP. MP's got nine rebounds now. Pass to Martin. Back to MP. Now Hero. Six on the shot clock. Jacks up a three. Good D by Bay. Atlanta's gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. Three-pointer. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Young's got nine assists now tonight. Encouraging to see Sadiq Bay just stay this confident. Looking for that shot off the catch. Here's the screen by Bryant. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one on Murray. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Miami. Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start, getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. Jovic, he's checked in for Miami. Highsmith comes in for Martin. And here's Griffin outside. Kept alive. Bogdanovich, that's good. Bogdanovich has got eight. Bogdanovich got himself in a great spot just reading where that carom was coming off of the rim and collected it. And if he throws it down. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Pass to Hunter. Three-pointer. Hits the trifecta. Hunter's got his first three points of the game. And the defense better start respecting DeAndre Hunter from that kind of range. Now here's MP. There's a screen. Here's Jovic. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. Hero for three. Hunter with the rebound. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Ooh. And what makes Tyler Hero so dangerous, Brent, is his ability to catch fire from range. Yeah, I would say, Grant, sometimes it's an inferno with Tyler Hero, the way he can get it going. I mean, he can rain down threes. He's got a pull-up game. He can get quickly in the double digits. Here's Murray. Count it. That's his sixth field goal in 12 tries. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Down low. Here's him. Again! What an avalanche! His elite offensive play has made its mark here once again. Now second overall in career 50-point games. Fire up that GOAT conversation. Certainly Michael Jordan, the guy he's just passed, is dead center in that ongoing conversation around who is the best ever. Yeah, that's a shoot-around shot as Hunter had plenty of space to knock it down. MP left side. And MP throws it down. And slammed that thing through. <laughs> a nasty two-hander. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And a foul called on MP. That's foul number two for him. Richardson's check. Double up MP. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. Sadiq Bey out there with Johnson. And it's Capella in at the five. So that's the Hawks five. Pass to Bay. Back to Johnson. Murray passes to Capella. Just five to shoot. And the slam dunk by Capella. And that's where you want to feed Clint Capella deep down on the interior part of the paint. Let him power it through. MP drives in. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Capella, screen on hero. Murray from outside. 
Tips it up. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Capella, one of the best offensive rebounders in the league. It's because of his activity. Trying to screen on Young. Here's MP. MP right through him. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Young from long range gets the three ball to go. Young's got ten points here in the second half. Rising to the challenge. He's given them everything he's got. Martin right side. Young against MP. Hero outside. Bryant a screen on Murray. Here's Hero. And then Bryant with the dunk. And the long arms of Thomas Bryant getting the job done. Here's Young. Trying to make up ground here. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. And the three-pointer goes. Well, he just nailed his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were the defense right now. MP, the pass to Bryant. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. MP's got assist number seven tonight. Young against MP. Capella, screen on MP. 16 feet out. Outside Young, takes the three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Brian, a screen on Young. MP, the pass to Brian. And Bay pulls it down. Atlanta is shooting about 43% since the fourth quarter began. Outside Young, fires the three. Oh, that's what he does. Trey Young knocking down a three. Well, Trey Young's dangerous because he's got that confidence and he's ready to shoot anytime he gets it. MP drives in. First, and that makes it a seven point lead. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's an eight point ball game. Time running out for the Hawks. Outside Young, outside Johnson, and the Hawks with another three. And defensively, how do you leave them that open in crunch time? Murray against MP. Oh, connects again. Oh, make that 61 points. Everything is going his way right now. Oh, 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 that had some mustard on it. MP showing some real force on the finish. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Young against Hero. Outside Young. Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Hero outside. Screen by MP. Hero with it. Checked by Murray. And the basket is good. Hero can beat his opponents from all over the floor. He can get that shot off so quick. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. They trail by seven. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, Quinn Snyder had some words for his team over the break. He reminded his team just how close this game is, saying, guys, we aren't out of this yet. We still have plenty of time left. Let's go out and execute our game plan, and I promise you, we will win this game. Let's see how they come out of this timeout, Brian. Allie, thank you. The ball's knocked loose. Ooh, stolen by Murray. At this point, it just feels like it's over. You want to keep expending energy, or do you want to start thinking about the next one? That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Back to MP. Pass to Martin. Here's Jaquez. He's covered by Bay. 
Clock at six. Inside. Here's MP. Oh, and Johnson with a block. And it's out of bounds to the Heat as Miami retains possession. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense positioning himself well to send it back. Martin, the pass to MP. Such a rangy defender, DeJounte Murray, using that length. And it gives him an edge defensively. So the Heat win it. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. So alongside Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. talk about Luca. This is a guy who didn't necessarily have all the hype coming into the league that someone like MP had. Sure, he had unprecedented success in Europe, but there were plenty of people who questioned how that would translate to the NBA game. Ladies and gentlemen, I was not one of those people. I've always believed in this young man's talent, and since joining the league, he's put up LeBron James quality numbers. I mean, the guy averaged 27 and six in his rookie year, and he's only gotten better. He's a one-man offensive powerhouse who has a, a flair for the dramatic and a proven record in the clutch. Quite simply, he's a generational talent. And despite all that, MP has been better. He just has. These are two incredible players, but MP is the superior talent, and I feel confident that he'll continue to prove it as his career continues.
Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. They've got Hardy. Exum is out there with P.J. Washington. Then there's Doncic, and it's Gafford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Miami, the forward spots will be Butler and Martin. Terry Rozier is out there with MP. And it's Bryant in at the five, roaming the paint. Well, certainly some names on the floor, Greg, that we've seen in the NBA for many years. That in consideration, what kind of game can we expect with the grizzled group on the floor? And Kevin, these types of games tend to be kind of methodical. Vets aren't afraid to give the ball up for a better look, and we should see a clean game here tonight. And it's Doncic missing. And here's Rozier. He brings it up for the Heat. And this matchup with Dallas, it's their first meeting of the season. And just couldn't make the most of their meetings last year. Ended up splitting the season series. Doncic against Rozier. Gafford sets the pick for Doncic. Here's the three. Rebound by Butler. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. on the way. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Five on the clock. The three. Dante Exum has got great length, so he's terrific at altering shots in the face of shooters. Washington passes to Hardy. That one's in his first shot this game. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. And here's Hardy. Some good scoring numbers for him right now, averaging 17 points a game. Don Chich. Can't hit from in close. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. And when it comes to Luka Doncic, he's simply, Greg, one of the best players in the entire game. No question about it. He's a threat to record a triple-double every time he takes the floor. As versatile and dangerous a player as there is in our league. And a miss there on the triple. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. The rebound by Bryant. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Butler kicks to Rozier. Heat moving the ball around. Shoots. It's Butler that time on the assist by MP. Spreading the wealth. MP just has a knack for doing that on and off the court. Pass to Washington. Andrews with a screen on Martin. To the inside. Here's Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Outside Bryant. Here's MP. Plays it up off the glass. MP's got six points. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Hardy passes to Doncic. Bangs home the trifecta. Wow, quick trigger from Luka. Ready on the catch to release and fire. Pass to MP. Pays it up and in off the pretty assist. He's got eight. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Dallas has gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. For the screen on Rogier. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And Gafford throws it down. Well, Luka Doncic has an innate sense for when his teammates are open. And boy, does he deliver it. Inside, here's MP. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. 
And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Anjic passes to Hardy. Washington with it. For the screen on Martin. Washington inside. He's against Martin. And it's Washington missing. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Here's Doncic following the basket by MP. Let's it go with a three. And it's Washington missing. I'll tell you, a rough quarter for him, and that puts so much pressure on the guys around him. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. They'll have their work cut out for him in this one, Doris. As we know, teams typically don't play as well on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. You're right, Kevin, because that all comes down to fatigue. A rested team obviously has an advantage over a team playing the second in as many nights. The numbers always back that up. And the Mavericks making a change here. Hardaway is checked in. And another miss. Ooh. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as it can have, you're right. And the dunk by MP. This is MP at his absolute dominant best right now. He is in complete command of the basketball. Mavericks trail by six. Now the pass to Gafford. The dish to Hardaway. Back to Gafford. Will it go? And it's good on the layup. Gafford's got six. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. To the middle. Here's MP. And the dunk by MP. And don't sleep on the bounce from MP. He says, I, I got a little bit of that as well. But Maverick shooting just about an even 40% to start. Now, here's Hardy. His last outing, 16 points for him. For the screen on Rogier. Five to shoot. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. He has not missed a shot in this quarter. They've tried running different things in him, but he's been unstoppable. Here's Rogier. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. MV gets number nine to fall. He's only taken ten shots. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Washington with a screen on MP. Hardaway passes to Washington. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. Craig, what a remarkable run from the Dallas Mavericks in that 2010-11 NBA season. And some say it's the toughest title any team has ever won. When you consider the juggernauts they took out, including the big three of the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. Here's Washington. Following the score by Miami. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. MP passes to Bryant. Back to MP. A three-pointer, no good. Mavericks trail by five. Down low. Here's Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Let's keep it up. And the Heat making a change here. Heroes checked in. Dallas also making some changes. Maxi Kleba comes in for Washington. And Josh Green subbed in for Hardy. Kleba sets the screen for Green. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they save the layup. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Heat. I like how they've worked the ball inside, getting looks closer in there, and that really helps your offense. 
the other thing they're doing is making plays off the bounce. And boy, once they get a step, they're getting all the way. A nice shot by Exum. Well, Dante Exum quickly out into transition in the open floor. You cannot lose this guy. Now the feed to MP. And MP throws it down. Yet another bucket in close. That's how he's earning his points today. Mavericks trail by three. Exum passes to Morris. Green with a screen for Morris. Passes it to Hardaway. And then Hardaway with the dunk. Well, let's see the vertical of Mr. Hardaway. Go ahead, sir. Pretty dunk. Inside. And MP throws it down. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. So it's the Mavericks now, following the score by Miami. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Martin kicks to Hero. Outside, Martin. To the inside. Out of bounds, Dallas takes possession. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. You take a look at Los Angeles. They've climbed all the way up to the second spot. And right now, for Miami, they've taken this ride all the way down the stretch. Few people thought they could maintain this astonishing display of dominance. On the floor for Dallas, they've got P.J. Washington. Hardaway is out there with Harding. Then it's Exum, and it's Lively in at the center, filling up the middle. And the dunk by MP. Oh, great job moving the rock by Hero. Not a ball stopper. Tyler is a team player. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. MP in the last game against Atlanta had a huge game. He contributed 61 points and, as usual, controlled the glass. The numbers he put up were really impressive, and he's somebody everybody loves watching. Guys, back to you. All right, David, thanks. It's going to be interesting to see how he follows up that performance. Yeah, he was the driving force behind that victory, but each night comes with different challenges. What you love about this guy, though, is even when the defense adjusts to what he's doing, he'll make an adjustment right back. He is always ready with a counter. Here's Hardaway after the Heat pickup, too. Six on the shot clock. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Well, when Tim Hardaway Jr. starts to cook, the confidence goes through the roof, and he's working right now. The Heat making a switch here. Ryan's checked in. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Dallas. Here's MP, and MP throws it down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now here's Hardaway. His last outing, 16 points for him. To the middle, here's Gafford, and Gafford throws it down. Fundamentals, guys, using the one-hand slam. Well, he makes the basics look pretty exceptional. And usually one of the league leaders in field goal percentage, Doris, Daniel Gafford. What a solid contributor. Kevin, you love those role players who play within themselves, and that's exactly what Gafford gives you, an understanding of what his team needs. Rim running, rim protection, and rebounding. To the paint, here's MP, and the dunk by MP. My goodness, he is such... Trail by four. Here's Hardaway. It's hauled in by the Heat. MP's got four rebounds now tonight. Bryant on the wing. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. MP kicks to Bryant. 
Shot clock at six. Over Hardaway. Off the left rim and out. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Hardy passes to Washington. Hits it from three-point range. Washington's got his third bucket of the night. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. MV passes to Bryant. Good on the shot. And the Heat lead by three. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Pass to Hardy. Back to Hardaway. And here's Hardy to the left wing. Exum kicks to Hardaway. Fires from deep. And the rebound goes to Martin. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. Stolen by Exum. Pass to Washington. Now, here's Exum. Defended by Butler. And the pass to Hardy. Exum deciding where to go with it. Just five on the clock. Let's the three fly. Here's Washington. In pin Washington with the dunk. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. And that's so demoralizing to your opponent. To play great defense and have the possession end that way, that's tough to take. Exxon passes to Washington. And the Mavericks call time here. Credit where credit is due. P.J. Washington is one hard-working guy on the floor. Isn't he, Greg? He's got that grittiness to him, Kevin. Values every chance he gets to affect the game. And, and like you said, he puts a ton of effort into his play. Green, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Now, here's Hardy. Here's Exum. Sinks that one from the post. We well, love how Dante Exum gets inside. He's got terrific touch close. Outside, Mark. He's looking for MP and finds him. And he recovers it. And Bryant kicks to Rozier. Bryant with a screen on green. Here comes MP. It's rebounded by Dallas. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. And then Washington with the dunk. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. Cutting the screen. Down low. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. MP's got three assists in the game. The Mavericks trailing. Passes it to Washington. For the screen on Martin. And here's Washington outside. So Rozier will bring it up for Miami. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. Butler, he's checked in for Miami. And with the big collisions we see in the paint, and Greg, there are some. Some have argued for changing the charge rule. Did you see that? And you know, there's talk of extending the restricted area. I've even heard some say ban charges by help defenders. I like the former idea. Uh, that seems less extreme. How about the leaping ability of Dante Exum? Terrific instincts on that one. Stolen by Exum. Here's Hardy. And he's good on the three ball. Hardy's got five points so far. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Dallas. They're really bucking things up for the opposition. Racking up steal after steal. Just not letting them develop any kind of offensive rhythm. And the other thing that's working for them tonight. Getting out into the open floor. A lot of the damage coming in transition. Here's Green. Following the basket by MV. Now Gafford. 13 points in the game. And it's Washington missing. Boy, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. Miami, again, turning it over.
The Mavericks shooting the ball beautifully in the second quarter. They're at 55% for the field. Forty-six seconds left now here in the second. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. And here's MP for three. Exum pulls it in. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Now here's Hardy. T right on him. Gafford is screen on MP. Washington passes to Gafford. Exum with a wide open look. Hits the three point bomb. Exum's got seven points for the quarter. Well, Dante Exum knocking down shots will put a smile on this team's face. He continues to work on the offensive end. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Everett's ahead, leading by just two. Live from Miami, you're watching 2K Sports. Greetings all, halftime is upon us. This is why coaches tell their guys, always be ready. We're gonna need you, be ready. And you don't all And let's switch gears for a second, checking out. Thank you for being with us. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far the defense has not been able to counter it. The forward spots will be Butler and Martin. Terry Rozier is out there with MP. And it's Bryant in at the five. So that's where Eric Spolstra starts the second half with. Now, here's Exum, defended by Butler. Exum passes to Hardy. Out to Doncic. Fires the three. The three ball from Doncic. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. The Heat trail by three. To the middle. And MP throws it down. You're starting to be able to trust that Terry Rozier is going to make these finds. The Mavericks shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thanks very much. Now the Mavericks all-time great Dirk Nowitzki this summer was enshrined in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and received a huge statue outside the Mavericks arena. The iconic one-legged fadeaway immortalized in bronze. Inscribed on the base, loyalty never fades away. 21 letters, one for each of his 21 seasons playing in Dallas. Kevin? Isn't that something? Great stuff, D.A., thank you. Martin against Doncic, and he lays it straight in. Doncic has got the lead up to three now for Dallas. Outside Butler. MP looking around. Bryant left side. Lock at six. Back to MP. Here's Rozier driving to the basket. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Doncic against Rozier. Yep, that one goes in there. And it's a five-point Dallas lead. 80% shooting to start the third, four for five. Rozier, the pass to MP. 
The rebound by Washington. Washington's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. They grab their own miss. Here's Exum. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Exum's got 12 points in the game. And you really can't say that it's like they've been lights out here on this run, but they are just getting a lot of second chance opportunities. Here's Butler. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. He has six. Well, excellent concentration from Bryant on the offensive end. Actively looking for ways to facilitate for his team. Donchich with it. Ten points for him. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. MP kicks to Bryant. Rebounded by Gafford. Mavericks leading by six. Donchich outside. Pass to X. He takes it in. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. To the inside. MP. The Mavericks pull it in. Gafford's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Washington. And they call the foul. So a chance at the line for one more coming up. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. I think you have to admire the aggressiveness with which P.J. Washington plays every single night. Butler in the corner. Count it. Butler's got four points this quarter such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end and you love his confidence Washington with the screen on Rozier really left alone that time and the Mavericks lead by 11 their ability again to stretch the floor particularly in this second half and guys boy when you're hitting it's options at the offensive end and it's Martin missing and so it's Exum with it. He'll bring it up for Dallas. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Pass to Hardy. Washington against Martin. Some nice passing here by Dallas. And it's Hardy with the jam. Well, how about the outstanding vision from the crafty point guard, Dante Exum, seeing the floor beautifully. Inside, here's MP. And MP throws it down. He just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Effort is screen on Rozier. Down low. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. They see the attention Luca draws. That's why his teammates get so many wide-open looks. Here's MP. MP rattling the rim. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. The drive by Doncic. It's hauled in by MP. MP's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Right side, Bryant. Now the Mavericks moving it up. Jumps up. And finished off by Exum. Well, Dante Exum remaining active on the offensive end. This guy looking very confident in his scoring ability. On the wing, MP. And they double up MP. Rozier the pass to Bryant. Mavericks with the rebound. Doncic has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And that one's good. Hardy. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment that's his killer instinct just fanning the flame one thing i enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score you lock in on the moment and play the right way oh that's great tnt baby uh, explosive that was pretty and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside tim hardaway jr's checked in for dallas And stolen by MP. All alone. And MP throws it down hard. And that was an impressive solo effort by MP. Coming away with the steal and turning it into points on the other end.
And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how, how impressive that move was. Dallas leading by 11. Here's Hardaway. He's got 13. Here's Exum. Off target from three-point range. Heat shooting extremely well. 62% on the night to this point. MP dishes to Bryant. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It's on Luka Doncic. That's an example of the toughness that Thomas Bryant brings to the table. He will not go away. Dallas has gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Here's Doncic. Ah, uh, Doncic very comfortable down low. That's a high percentage look for Luka Doncic. He is a menace if he gets that deep. Here's MP and another assist for him. Another possession, another assist. You know, Greg, he's sharing the ball well, hitting his guys in their spots. And for the Mavericks, their shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Hardy passes to Lively. A shot by Washington, and he's wide open. And he uses the glass on the layup. Ivory's got eight points. Well, as soon as you recognize a size mismatch, you have to attack. Rozier kicks to Bryant. Now the pass to Hawkins. And there's the try. And he jams it with authority. Oh, up high and down hard with that one-hander. He got a little extra forceful. You're right with that one. Floats it up for Doncic. Out of bounds. Miami takes possession. That looks like a lack of focus. You've got to question what he was trying to accomplish there. And a new group. Mavericks call time here. The short rest very important. And one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to listen in on what Jason Kidd was talking about with his players. He was very fired up. He said, look, this is going to be a big win for us. We close this out, and we'll show the rest of the league who we are. Thanks, David. On the floor right now for the Mavericks. Washington out there with Daniel Gaffer. Then there's Harden. Then there's Doncic. And it's Exum in at the three side. He's unguardable. Nobody been able to contain him here in the fourth quarter. Now four or five from the field. Here's Doncic. Got it. Good job in the low post. Doncic has got 25 points. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Outside, Martin. In the corner, it's MP. To the paint, here's Bryant. Rebounded by Gafford. And fought hard to make his way to the rim, but give the deep credit, did just enough to force him to clank that one. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right, he stays connected and great timing on the contest. You know, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. Their fast break plays have seemed unstoppable. They just keep finding ways to overrun the defense here in transition. Something else that they've had working for them is attacking the offensive glass. Boy, taking advantage and creating second chance points. Impressive. Heroes checked in for the Heat. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dallas. Hardaway comes in for Hardy. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. Hero against Doncic. Here's Kleba. And it's Miami with the rebound. MP outside. He is looking for Bryant and finds him. 
This guy is not afraid to get physical. Thomas Bryant doing everything he can to fight to get the shot off. Both free throws good from Bryant. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Leading by five. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That game is the first and last of their homestand. Kleba with the bucket. Well, more and more, you see big men working on the outside shot, and this guy has one of the better ones in the league. Here's MP. MP strong inside. You really got to tip your cap to him in terms of how he's played today, even if they end up losing this game. Doncic against Hero. Fires the three. Doncic, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And they double up MP. But Trey, and the shot is good. The Maverick lead has been cut down to three on the bucket from Hero. And, you know, some guys shrink as the game times. Hero calls for the ball. Clutch. Here's Hardaway. Out to Doncic. Shoots over Hero. And that one's on target from the wing. Doncic has got 27. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Here's MP. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. When he anticipates a whistle is coming, MP's so good putting up those shots. Free throw good, MP. MP. Good on both. Here's Exum. Passes it to Gafford. Vicious to Doncic. Back to Gafford. That shot off. Some solid defense from Bryant. The Heat trail by three. Here's MP. MP steps it in off the drop. MP rising to the challenge as he so often does. Here's Dallas. And here is Doncic. Shoots from eight, and the jumper is good. He's got 29 points. Doncic has been in this position many times. He makes it look easy. Butler passes to Martin. Here's MP. Good, that's another bucket. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, G.A. really taking it to the opposition. Hero against Doncic. 139 left in the fourth quarter. Offline with his three. Miami's gotten off four three corners in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. MV gets to Bryant, and Bryant throws it down. against Hero. Kleba with a screen on Hero. Next to Kleba for the three. And the rebound goes to Martin. Martin's got six rebounds here tonight. Martin with a screen on Hardaway. On the way against MP. Out of bounds. Dallas takes possession. Huge turnover. And really the worst possible time. You have to value every possession, especially at this stage of the game. Dallas shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Here's Doncic. Count the basket and the spot. Tyler Hero picks one up. So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. Getting it done at the line as he usually does. And that could be huge in a tight game like this one. And this is who MP is. This guy's a winner and someone who just thrives in the clutch. And so now a timeout called by Jason Kidd. You know the time it is to make your heat
Doncic feeling it out. It doesn't go for him. Great D that time from Hero. And it's the Heat with the ball. 29 seconds left in the game. Martin with a screen on Doncic. MP passes to Martin. Hero from... To this league, Tyler Hero has wanted these big shots. A prime time player. Dallas calls timeout. They're trailing by three. There's 18 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? And it's do or die time. They need a bucket here to stay alive. And it's either got to be a three pointer or a score quickly and take the foul. Against Doncic. Gafford sets the pick for Hardaway. Can't get the three to fall. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul. And to to some the first that gives them a four-point cushion well, and you can't ask for anything more being a leader with an opportunity to step up in a big way for your team the second one is good in both at the line and it's a five-point game that's what you call slamming the door this one is over here's Exum and so it's Miami winning this one they didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone says. Yeah, I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. The Raptors with a singular focus as they get off the team bus, looking to lock down. Hello out there, and get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Hi everybody, this is Brian Anderson, and with me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, Grant, this is the type of game that may look lopsided, 
But as we've seen, anything can happen. Anything can definitely happen, B.A. And look, you have to understand that every guy in this league is talented. If you come in flat and those other guys are inspired, you can fall. But honestly, you shouldn't. It's all about handling your business. So let's take a look at the starters for the Toronto Raptors. They've got Emmanuel quickly. R.J. Barrett out there with Scotty Barnes. Then there's Jakob Pertl, and it's Brown in at the two guard. Here's quickly. After the basket by Miami. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. Good eyes. Pirtle scanning the floor, making a great pass. And it's Rozier with the ball for Miami. MP outside. Martin outside. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Quickly with the ball. Now guarded by Bryant. The baseline, Jay. And he can't bank that one in. To the middle. Tipped. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. Here's Rozier. Pirtle grabs a miss. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Pass to Barnes. Outside Barrett. Six to shoot. Quickly finds Barnes. No luck on that one. Some solid defense from Martin. MP outside. Butler with the ball. Butler double team. It's Martin on the wing. Brian to screen on quickly. Here's MP. And he makes it on the layup. MP's got six points. MP so fierce. Going right through him. Outside Barrett. Back to quickly. To the paint. Here's Brown. And it's MP with a rebound. The Heat with the lead. Well, Grant, one of the things that keep Raptors fans positive is the youth that's represented on this roster. Yeah, they've got a great core, B.A., and lots of young guys on this team. But they're missing a star. Yeah, probably, but they can be dangerous. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. Quickly passes to Barnes. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Here's quickly. Solid as a rock from 20 feet out. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Rozier, the pass to Butler. The baseline, Jay, is on the way. Again, the Heat score. He usually lives in the paint, but you can't give him the mid-range. He'll knock it down. Here's Brown. That's it. Coming off an assist from Barnes. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. To the inside. MP. And MP throws it down. Keeping his head up and staying patient. This is what you love to see from Rogier as a playmaker. On the wing quickly. Hounded by Rogier. Pass to Barrett. Fades back. Miami grabs the miss. That was the best he could do. Just fade a little bit, try and get a clean look. But the defense was right on him. Butler passes to Rozier. Here's a screen by Bryant. Puts it up. Hurdle grabs a miss. Toronto trailing. To the middle. Brown finds Barrett. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. Big effort, big reward for Barrett. Just what a jam. Rozier, the pass to Butler. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Earning his money on the interior tonight. That's a nice move. Quickly against Rozier. Here's Barrett. 
And a shot, no good. Some solid defense from Martin. Rogier, right side. Back to MP. Off with the layup. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Outside Butler. Here's Martin. Hits a three-pointer. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Here's Barnes. A dependable player on offense, giving them over 13 a game. And there's the call on Scotty Barnes. That's his first foul. And great job to establish position and square up. First personal foul. For Miami, they've gone a fantastic 8 of 11 so far. Rozier, the pass to Bryant. Now here's MP. Bryant, a screen on Brown. Pass to Butler. Tries the nine-footer. Good as the jump shot falls. This is where Butler thrives. He wants to bully his way inside and get buckets. Now Barnes. And here is Barrett. Brown finds Barrett. Shot clock at five to the paint. Here's Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. Great recognition by Perto, slicing through the defense in these pick-and-roll sets. Well, Grant, for R.J. Barrett, he pretty much knew he was going to be an NBA player. Oh, B.A., he sure did. And, and the number one prospect out of high school in Florida in 2018. Did his one-and-done in college at Duke and followed it up with the number three overall pick. And he has definitely delivered. And so here is Toronto after the basket by Miami. Rozier with it. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Martin outside. It's stolen by Barnes. Oh, not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. Barnes stopping and popping. So it's Miami now. They lead by seven. Inside. Here's MP. Martin outside. Fires for three. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Martin's got the second bucket on the night. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Barron passes to Pirtle. Quickly against Rogier. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three. MP against Brown. MP, the pass to Martin. Jovic. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Boucher's got four rebounds in the game. So for Toronto right now, they've got Scotty Barnes. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Bruce Brown. Then there's Gary Trent. And it's Boucher in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That was a missed opportunity. There's a screen. Here's MP. Muscling it home. MP. <laughs> and sometimes the best way to get something done, do it yourself. <laughs> Just ask MP. And so Brown will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. It's a three-point game. Quickly outside. MP against Brown. And the Raptors miss again. For Miami, they've got five of seven shots to fall in the second. Down low. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Barnes. Give Martin credit. He's not bashful at attacking inside and challenging the D. And some analysts have lamented the quote-unquote protected guys. Every bump, they go to the free throw line. Does that bother you, Smitty? B.A. would have bothered me more if I had to guard them. The league has made it clear they want the rules evenly applied. Star treatment should not extend to the pursuit. Count it. Good. I love the elevation on that shot. Gary Trent Jr. is a big-time scorer. 
to the paint. Here's MP. It's hauled in by the Raptors. They come into this one following a loss to Brooklyn. <laughs> it's always hard to get a win on the road, especially when you show zero energy on the defensive end. It looked like there were communication breakdowns Here all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. The defense was clearly not on the same page. No one picked up the open man. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Mavericks just played phenomenal. He ended up with a jaw-dropping amount of points, and he also dominated the glass. No surprises there. He was a force of nature in that game. He made the opposition look utterly helpless. Outstanding. Thanks. Impressive ability to carry his team to victory, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I was really impressed. They wouldn't have won the game if it wasn't for his attacking mindset and will to win. And that's what every player has control of, his level of activity. It allows you to impact the game even if the shot isn't falling. Now here's MP coming off an unbelievable high-scoring game. And while we can, let's see which teams have been running the league's most efficient offenses. Number one, the Heat. The smart offensive moves this team makes helps them open up the floor and find great looks. That's how they've secured such an impressive shooting percentage. The Heat making a switch here. Bryant's checked in. And Toronto also making a switch. Pirtles checked in for Boucher. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Now here's Hero. 17 points in his last outing. Butler against Trent. Butler surveying the floor. Shot clock at six. Pulls it. Jimmy Butler so smooth inside. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Quickly passes to Barnes. Back to Quickly. Trent outside. MP against Brown. And again, no good by Toronto. Miami trailing. Here's the screen by Bryant. MP with it. He's picked up by Pearl. And then Bryant with the dunk. Oh, a tremendous leader. MP is always looking to get his teammates involved out there. Outside, Brown. Quickly against Hero. Here's the three. And it's quickly with a miss. The Heat have gotten 8 of 12 attempts to drop since the beginning of the second. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. Oh, and the dunk by MP. And so far, this game has belonged to MP. Getting to his spots and executing with ease. For Toronto, they've gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Hurdle with a screen on Martin. Here's Barnes. And here's Brown for three. And it's Miami with a rebound. They've led by as much as ten. They come into this one having outplayed the Mavericks last time out. They really had a strong night shooting the basketball. They got hot and stayed hot. They were very patient, and that was the difference. It's hard to be patient, I know. But look at the outcome they had. Now here's Brown. Coming off a 16-point game against Brooklyn. Pirtle, the pass to Quickly. Hero against Brown to end the run. Miami grabs the miss. Bryant's got four rebounds now. And so Hero will bring it up for the Heat. Three-point lead. Bryant, the pass to MP. Here's Martin. Hero outside. Here's MP. MP, the flush! Continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. Toronto's gone 50% from the perimeter in the second. Shooting four of eight. Toronto calls timeout. 
And now that we're late into the season, Grant, what do you think teams are trying to accomplish? Well, you know, VA, for the playoff teams, it's all about getting the best seed and matchup possible. And, of course, for those lottery teams, just continuing to develop and build winning habits. Terry Rozier, who's checked in for Miami. Abaji's checked in for Toronto. Barrett comes in for Trent. Brown, a screen-on hero. Pass to Abaji. 4-3. And Bryant pulls it down. Bryant's got rebound number five here tonight. Rozier outside. MP shot is off. Toronto trailing. Here's Abaji. Ten points in his last outing. Outside Barrett. Pass to Abaji. Five on the clock. Kick out to Brown. To stop the drought. And Bryant pulls it down. Bryant's got six rebounds now in the game. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Now here's Martin. And here's MP. He's got 22. Here's Hero. The jumper from the wing off target. The Raptors shooting just 37% from the field in the second quarter. Here's Abaji. He's guarded by Martin. Quickly against Rozier. Here's Brown. Softly drops in the floater. Showing off with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. To the middle. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. That one wasn't simple. MP taking off. I love it. 52 seconds left in the second period. Now quickly. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. You can't forget about how great he was at forcing contact and getting to the line. He racked up a lot of easy points at the line that way. The defense getting out-hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Here's Pirtle. After the basket by Miami. Pass to Brown. That's in. He's shooting three for ten from the floor now. The defense cannot afford to give him an inch that close to the basket because he will burn you every time. To the inside. And then he throws it down. Coaches love to see ball movement, especially when it gets you that kind of look. Now here's quickly. He's got five. Into the lane from the arc. Sinks the tray. Akpaji's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Heat out in front, up by two. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. to have you with us with the season in its latter portion let's look at the eastern conference playoff race well right now for the heat they've been phenomenal all the lofty predictions the expectations they've all come true now comes the hardest part in the postseason every team is going to be gunning for them and guys how about the raptors involved in a very competitive matchup right now they better count their lucky stars. It's this close. All their energy has been spent at the offensive end. I don't know, Ernie. They've been one-dimensional. Yeah, it's a flaw that's easily sniffed out in this league. Teams are too smart. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean... in that first half we saw a pretty tight battle we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime hey you look at mp in this game he's been everywhere 
I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Butler and Martin, the duo at forward. MP is out there with Terry Rozier. And it's Bryant in at center. That's the group for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. Quickly. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. First free throw is good. And quickly drops them both. I'll tell you, he doesn't get points away. Excellent job from the line. Inside, here's MP. And MP throws it down. And we've seen Butler develop his passing game over the years. And for Toronto, they're shooting the ball at 48% so far. As tough as they come, Jimmy Butler. What does he bring to this team, Smitty? B.A. Hart and the way he competes out there, it is infectious. Jimmy challenges his teammates to raise their level of effort. And coaches, they love Jimmy Butler. Did you know that Jakob Pertl's parents were both elite volleyball players? Yes, B.A., that makes a lot of sense. Another game where height and reach are a factor. So this is where he gets those instincts. Off on that one. So he goes one out of two at the line. You talk about a guy who is hitting his stride. Jakob Pertl has grown into his own potential and is delivering on the floor. Pass to quickly. And it's Barrett off the drive. Kicks it to quickly. Down to five on the shot clock. Pirtle with a screen on Rozier. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Got to be on the lookout for Pirtle crashing the glass. Using his body to wreck the defense on the boards. Here's MP. Defended by Brown. Work in the interior. MP. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. Barrett against Butler. Now here's Barrett. Not a lot of room. And the layup is good. Barrett's gotten his third basket of the night. And I love the confidence from Barrett. He enjoys finding room inside and capitalizing. MP shot is good. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement. Headline and here from Allie. Well, R.J. Barrett, the third overall pick in the 2019 draft, still a long way away from his prime. He said, quote, people think you should make this huge leap out of nowhere. And it's like if you just add one or two things to your game and just get better every year steadily, you are going to get where you want to go, whether it comes right away or it comes later. Brian? Allie, thanks. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Barnes feeling it out a bit. And they pick up two. Barnes has got ten points in the game. A tremendous finisher in close. Scotty Barnes is physical and he's explosive. Martin outside. Pass to MP from outside the arc. Colonel grabs a miss. For Toronto, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Quickly, outside. Butler against Barrett. Pirtle with the ball. Drives to the hoop. And the dunk by Pirtle. Love the confidence of Pirtle off the dribble. He beat everyone to the cup. Bryant, right side. Martin, outside. Pass to MP. Deflects the pass. Here's Barrett. Boom! He jams it straight down. Sometimes he can be a bit passive, so it's nice to see RJ is forcing the issue. On the AT&T 5G slam cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. 
Now here's Rozier. He's scoreless. And MP throws it down. We've seen five lead changes so far. Neither team able to pull away. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to come down to the wire. Barnes with a screen on Butler. Barrett passes to Pirtle with a nine-footer. Rebound by the Heat. MP outside to the paint. Here's Martin. Dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. There's an example of MP making everyone around him better. Quickly against Rogier. Outside Barrett. Down low. Here's Pirtle. Excellent D there from Bryant. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. Butler finds Rozier. Now Martin. Back to MP. Bryant left side. And so the ball out of bounds. Brown touched it last. When one of these guys gets to the line, you can chalk up the points. Here are your top free throw shooters over the past month. Fifth best, Emmanuel Quickly. And over this stretch, his foul shooting has been exceptional. You could tell he was enjoying every single trip to the line. Clock at six. Here's Martin. The length of Scotty Barnes is a difference maker on defense. Good chance here for Barrett. And it's Miami with a rebound. MP's got a rebound number five here tonight. To the middle. Tries from six feet. And again, it's Miami converting. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Rozier against Quickly. Here's Barrett. Ooh, good work defensively by Butler. And so it's Butler who brings up the ball for the Heat. It's a five-point game. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Jimmy Butler. Yeah, just a great job by Barrett. Pounding it inside and getting to the line. The Heat making a switch here. Heroes checked in. And Toronto also making a switch. Boucher's checked in for Barnes. Rozier outside. Let's it go from deep. Pirtle grabs a miss. pirtle has got rebound number eight now. Here's Barrett. The putback. It's good on the putback. Chris Boucher understands angles, which makes him a real threat on the offensive glass. Brown with the steal. And they're running quickly from outside. And it's Miami with a rebound. Bryant's got 11 rebounds in the game. Pass to Rozier to the inside. MP called in by Brown. Brown's got four rebounds in the game. Out of bounds as Toronto keeps possession. The Raptors have gotten six of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Pirtle with the ball. For the lead. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged. And everything has to be earned. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Bryant outside to the paint. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Now here's Barrett. Ten points for him. Pass to Quickly. Shoots from the baseline. And Bryant pulls it down. Coaches loathe empty possessions. you got to be able to hit the easy ones. Martin with a screen on Boucher. Martin, left side. Rozier outside. Six on the shot clock. Bryant a screen on quickly. Rozier from outside. Sinks it from distance. 
Now it's a six-point heat lead. An improved shooter from downtown. Rozier has been consistent in adding this to this game over the years. And Toronto calls time here. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And a chance here to check out some stats for MP. And the month he's been having has been phenomenal. Upping his game and putting up a good number of points, he really looks energized and engaged on offense. Here's Barrett. Counted. Now 5 of 11 for the game. Such a gutsy player. Barrett takes on challenging defenders in style and stays in control. Pass to MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. And the basket by Trent. Woo, he got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Okay, Smitty, I don't want to make you feel old, but we both played against Gary Trent's dad. Well, Grant, I'm not. But seriously, Gary Sr. was a 6'8 post Gary Jr., a 6'5 shooter. They have different games, but both Trents are great competitors, Grant. Slamming it, playing above the rim. That is Boucher's game. MP looking around. Pass to Hawkins. Here comes Toronto on the push. Trips down the breakaway slam. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. We talk about it time and time again. Turnovers are costly, especially when the game is close. Now here's Hero giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. Just five on the clock from deep MP. Rebounded by Trent. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Abaji. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. abaji has got four points in the quarter. Six lead changes in a game that has a lot of character. Yeah, both sides stepping up and making big plays. Hero on the wing. Guarded by Barrett. MP against Trent. Hero outside. Buries it from three. Hero's got five. Coming into his own from distance. Hero is money. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. What a game. Neither team giving ground. Heat out in front. They lead by two. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. 80. Now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundament <laughs> going with almost an entire new group here. So for Toronto right now, they've got Bruce Brown, Jakob Pertl out there with Scotty Barnes. Then there's Emmanuel quickly, and it's Barrett in at small forward. Pass to Pertl. Back to Barrett. Picked by Pertl. Barrett passes to Pertl. Shoots over Bryant. The shot by Pertl, no good. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Oh, and the dunk by MP. <laughs> so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. Pass to Pirtle. Back to Quickly. And here's Pirtle. Kicks it to Quickly. Outside, Brown. Pirtle with a screen on MP to tie it up. Shoots over Rozier. Off the left rim and out. And it's Butler with the ball for the Heat. 
They've led by as much as 10. Bryant, left side. Back to MP. Down low. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Butler's got assist number five here tonight. You have to like the composure that MP had to get that finish inside. Barnes with a screen on Butler. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. And good on the second, so he makes them both. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Rozier with a screen on Barrett. Butler passes to MP. Hits yet again. Wow. Oh my goodness. 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. Quickly finds Barrett. Back to Quickly. Outside Barnes. Left block shot on the way. And it's Miami with a rebound. MP with it. Pass to Rozier. Screen by MP. The three ball. They get the rebound. Outside for Butler. Back to MP. Barrett against Butler. Here's MP. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That one on Barnes. And the defense knows they got to cover MP very close, but he gets physical and exploits the coverage there for a foul. Free throw good. MP. Tyler Heroes checked in for Miami. And both free throws good for MP. You have to admit. This guy just wants to get out there and play hard. To the middle. Here's Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Miami? It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. Yeah, all game long, they've been also playing well inside in the paint. Lots of points are coming their way thanks to them attacking the interior. And so he hits both. Toronto trailing. Outside Barrett. Over Butler. Outside Barnes. Brown, a screen on Martin. Five to shoot. Back to Barrett. Fires the three. No good on the shot. Ooh, good work defensively by Butler. Ooh, love the intensity which they're hitting the boards. MP, the pass to Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. Barrett against Butler. Here's Brown. And he drops in the layup off the glass. You like how Barrett always keeps his eyes open, watching the court for those assist opportunities. Inside. Oh, and the dunk by MP. The longer this game goes on, the hotter he gets. Here's quickly. And if they're going to make a move, this is a good time to start. And, and there's still plenty of time, but they definitely don't want to let this game get too far out of hand. And Toronto calls time here. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. The head coach of the Raptors had some words for his team over the break. He did his best to light a fire under them, saying, we have to fight. Now is the moment we have to come out of this deficit swinging. Guys? Thanks for that, Allie. Drains the triple. 
Brown's got five points now this quarter. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. The reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. And here's Butler outside. Fires in the triple. There's Butler's competitive streak right back at you from distance. Brown, a screen on Martin. Martin against Barnes. Now here's Barrett. Tight defense on him. It's hauled in by the Heat. Bryant's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. Pass to Butler. MP outside. The three. The shot by Butler. No good. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Barrett against Butler. Now here's Barrett. Defense right on him. That three's off the mark. At some point when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. Here's MP. Barnes with the rebound. And so it's Barnes with it. He brings it up for Toronto. Quickly passes to Pirtle. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Really like the work inside from Pirtle. Using his body well to draw the contact on his way up. And he's able to hit the second one. And that brings him with an eight. And trying to cut into this deficit, tough to leave any points on the table. Miami's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Pass to Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. And he's now got the double-double. Both sides are simply waiting for the clock to make it official. This is going to end up in the books as a nice win for the Heat. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently. And a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. Boy, we can't say enough about what a talented team this is. Their 68th win coming for them in what's already been a very successful run. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for MP. Shouldering the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. That's an inspired ball club. They fought hard, and during the most important moments, they made big plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. Barrett passes to Brown. Gets himself open and drills it. And it's the Heat with the ball. They've got a nine-point lead. Pass to MP. Brown with the steal. So the Heat win it. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity. Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Our game tonight featuring the Miami Heat as they go up against the Toronto Raptors. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brett Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. Here are the five for the Raptors. We've got Emmanuel quickly. Myrtle is out there with Barnes. Then it's Barrett and it's Brown in at the two spot. And for Miami. The forward spots will be Butler and Martin. 
Terry Rozier is out there with MP. And it's Bryant in at the center position. Barrett the pass to Perto. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Bryant. Coming into the final game of the season, Greg, both of these teams appear ready for the next step. And it's still important to end the season strong, even if you're out of the playoff picture. And if you're in the playoffs, you're trying to build some momentum tonight. Just a great setup there. You can see how Jimmy Butler enjoys making plays. Steps back. Quickly against Rogier. Right wing. Passes to Quickly. This one for three. Rebound by the Heat. This, their first look at this year's Toronto squad. Going against a conference opponent, one that outplayed them head-to-head -head last season. A chance for payback. Now, here's MP. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. Six to shoot. Three-pointer. And Pirtle sends it back. And you got to give appreciation to how Pirtle punishes shooters. A dynamite shot blocker with impeccable timing. Rozier against Quickly. He can't hit that time. Some solid defense from Rozier. On the wing, MV. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. And the big off-the-court news for MV of late. Greg, he's teamed up with Kia to be a part of their next marketing campaign. And Kia and the NBA have been partners for quite some time now. And they saw that MP being a rising star and made the move to sign him as a spokesman. And so here is Miami after the Raptors pick up two. And the dunk by MP. And once Rozier spots that hole in the defense, he just doesn't hesitate. Just sends the ball to an open shooter. Now, here's Quickly. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. Well, it doesn't seem to matter, Brent, who they bring in. Everyone seems to fit in this system in Miami. Well, their identification process and their scouting, they do a fantastic job of putting guys in here who are hungry to go about their business. So it's a nice mix. You have young guys, you have veterans, and then they have the right star to follow. Here's quickly Jimmy Butler making his last shot. Let's it go from 11. Here's Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. And Pirtle is always a threat to come away with offensive rebounds thanks to his amazing timing, especially when the D fails to box him out. MV, Heat moving the ball around. Quickly against Rogier. And MV throws it down. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Now, here's Brown. Still without a basket. Barnes outside. Brown with a screen on Martin. A three from Barnes. It's hauled in by the Heat. Bryant's got four rebounds now tonight. Rozier kicks to MP. Martin with a screen on Brown. And there's the foul. It'll go on Bruce Brown. That is his first foul of the game. Bryant the pass to MP. Bryant a screen on Brown. MP finds Bryant. And Pirtle is very passionate on defense. So good at throwing a hand up in the face of score. Barnes passes to Brown. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Bryant. Bryant's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's MP. And the dunk by MP. And don't sleep on the bounce from MP. He says, I, I got a little bit of that as well. And here is Quickly. From deep. The rebound by Bryant. 
Bryant's got six rebounds in the game. Bryant with a screen on Brown. To the middle. Kicks it out to MP. Butler against Barrett. Four on the clock. Rozier for three. Here's Bryant. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And Barnes has got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Eight-point game. The shot's good from quickly. Immense focus quickly with all kinds of confidence around that tight coverage. Here's Rozier after Toronto picking up the basket just moments ago. Martin with the screen for MP. And taken away by Brown. Not loose. Dishes it to Barnes. And no good. Some solid defense from Butler. And already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Rozier against Barrett. Pass to Barnes. Into the lane. The second chance effort. And that's two points on the lane. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. To the inside. MP. And the dunk by MP. And the defense running out of things to do against MP here tonight. Just no stopping him. Raptors trail by six. Now, here's quickly. Nine point game is last outing. The pass to Barrett. Pirtle with a screen on Buck. Barrett, the pass to Pirtle. Some solid defense from Bryant. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. From outside the arc, it's rebounded by Quickly. For Toronto, they come in off the loss to the Heat in Miami. And you know, Greg, they call him IQ. Instant offense is Emmanuel Quickly. Yeah, and he puts points on the board quickly. <laughs> no pun intended. A volume three-point shooter and has a deadly little floater in the lane. And it's the Heat with the ball after the Raptors pick up two. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. So timeout called here, the first for the Raptors. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right. And let's quickly check in on the season's top rookie rebounders so far. Fifth on the list, MP. And you know, rebounding was a skill that I thought would translate to the NBA for him. We knew he could board with the best of them, and he has not disappointed. Trent kicks to Barnes. to Trent. Brown feeling it out a bit. And finished off by Brown. They worked hard to get this lead. Can't start giving up easy slams all of a sudden. Yeah, GA, that's right. And that was easy. Gift wrap for him. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. The forward spots will be Butler and Martin. MP out there with Hero. And it's Jovic in at the five down low. That's the group on the four for Miami. And MP throws it down. Well, this is guy Jimmy Butler not showing that he's a ball stopper. Awareness finds the open man. Trent with it. Still scoreless. He kicks it to Barnes. It's Brown on the win. Pass to Quickly. There's the three. The shot drops. His shooting percentage improves. He's three for seven now with that basket. Well, since going in the 2020 first round, quickly has gotten a lot more selective with his shot taking and shot making. 
a sign of maturity. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. MP in the last time out against Durant. points and did so at a very efficient rate playing within the flow of the offense a fantastic performance from him something he wants to repeat tonight kevin david we appreciate the update greg we'll see if he can keep rolling here tonight yeah and that's the rub when he's in rhythm he can carry your team across the line and you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing especially if he draws that much attention Using his athleticism, MP with the point. Hero knowing about the whens and the wares for an assist. Quickly against Hero. Passes it to Barnes. Brown outside. Trent against Butler. Here's Brown. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. The kick outside to Butler. Back to MP. It's hauled in by the Raptors. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. You got to give them an A for effort. Just fell a little bit short in that one. Well, it would have been really nice to get that win on the road. But no team ever happy with the loss. They put up a good fight. And they had nothing to hang their heads on after that one. Here's Brown. Terrific Ooh, assist. Wow. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Uh, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Outside hero. On the wing, MP. He's covered by Brown. Right through contact, MP. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Oh, G.A., the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they, they have a type that they're looking for. Blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. In a moment here, let's check out the numbers for Brown. How his last 10 games have gone. He's averaging 11 points a game, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists. And he's done his share of the work for the team, definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around, and he's not letting the team down. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And MP throws it down. I love the aggressiveness. He's been on fire the entire first half and continues to strike while the iron's hot. Brown the pass to Barrett. Back to Brown. And it's sent back by Bryant. All the length of Thomas Bryant involved in that block. Pass to Hawkes. MP against Brown. Now, here's Rogier. Guarded close. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And Kevin, we, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. And both free throws, good for Rogier. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. From six feet. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Miami leading by 16. To the middle. Martin kicks to Rogier. Kicks it out to MP. And again, it's the Heat missing. The Raptors have gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. Quickly with it. Picked up by Rogier. Abaji the pass to Quickly. Oh, 
They need this one. It's hauled in by the Heat. Bryant's got 11 rebounds in the game. And one outstanding thing the Raptors do, Greg, they really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Heat. And right from the jump, they've been working hard to establish themselves inside, using agility and power to get shots in the paint. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. Barnes finds quickly. Back to Barnes. Jacks up a three. MP grabs the miss. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. MP's got 29 in the game. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't no play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Toronto calls timeout. Toronto making a change. Abaji's checked in. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for MP. And when it comes to his scoring, he's enjoying a fantastic run. He's brought his points per game average up thanks to the work he's done in the past 10. And maybe he's got another big one in store tonight. Raptors trail by 21. Quickly with it. Picked up by Rozier. The pass to Barrett. Over Butler. And the Raptors miss again. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Feeds it to Martin. Good. Nice job down low. Yeah, after a first quarter where they struggled from long range, they've really started to get it closer to the basket. Pass to Boucher. Here's quickly. No good, unable to end this run. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. And he makes the first. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. So he picks up just one from the line that time. And you guys, a big part of what makes him be special is his incredible work ethic. This is a guy who's just always in hustle mode. Every play, trying to do more for his team. Down low, and so the ball is out of bounds. Rozier touched it last. Now we get a chance to check out MP. What a run he's been on over the past few weeks. First in scoring, first in field goal percentage, and his playmaking ability unquestioned. One of the top 15 assist men in our league. And his scoring abilities are just so far out of sight. Number one overall right now. No one's been able to slow him down or even come close. And so MV will bring it up for the Miami Heat. Here's Bryant, the layup. MP against Barrett. Eleven feet away. And shot off. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. And so it's Miami sitting on a 21-point lead to end the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Back right after this. Howdy, folks. I know you've all been clamoring to find out how the Rookie of the Year race is looking, and we are not letting you down. 
Chet Holcomb's basically positionless. He handles the ball. He shoots like a guard. He has the versatility of a forward. He's, what, about seven feet something? I don't know, man. This guy has the length of a center. Just got to get out the way and let him go to work, just like me. <laughs> and looking now at that first half of action, quite a big deficit for the Raptors. If you look at their field goal percentage, that says it all. Just jacking up shots. They got to stop. Time to go inside and make it count. Check this out. Check this out. You're going to like this. I think they have an SLT shot. You know what that is? Oh, uh, shot like treats. No, shot like threat. Oh, I was close. Yeah, someone who could get to the rim and get it done. Shot like, oh, forget it. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half, just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. And it's time for an injury report. Now with an update on Scotty Barnes from David Aldridge. Uh, David, what'd you find out? Hey, guys, the head athletic trainer of the Raptors was able to give me an update. He told me it's a sprained ankle. Of course, those can be tricky. The next few games will be without him on the court. Of course, other players are going to have to step up to fill that role. That's all we've got, Kevin. Good information, David. He's certainly been on our minds. Now, at least, Greg, we have a little more clarity. Yeah, now they have the information they need to take the best course of action. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. So for Toronto right now, R.J. Barrett is out there with Boston. Then there's Brown. Then there's Jakob Pertl. And it's quickly in a point guard. Quickly against Rogier. Back to quickly. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. When we talk about Emmanuel quickly, Brent, his last name really describes him well, doesn't it? Yeah, Kevin, this guy is fast, a source of immediate energy uh, that provides this team a spark, especially on offense. This guy can be really aggressive. And quickly drops them both. Now, really known as a microwave scorer, Quickly's fearlessness is what allows him to really get cooking. Screen by Bryant. MP kicks to Bryant. And Pirtle pulls it down. pirtle has got his fifth rebound in this one. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Brown sets a screen for Barrett. Acted quickly. Brown with a screen on Rozier. The shot's good from Quickly. Quickly's got five points now this quarter. And go back to quickly in his rookie year. He shot about 40% from deep, so shooting from long distance, not a problem. To the paint. Here's Bryant, and the dunk by Bryant. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man, and he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. Passes it to Barrett. Barnes outside. Unloads from 13. Rebound by the Heat. MP's got six rebounds here tonight. Left side, Martin. Kicks it out to MP. Good ball movement here by Miami. Inside. And the dunk by MP. It's good to see Rozier improving as a playmaker. Passes like this help make his guys better players. The Raptors have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The NBA has relaxed the rules that prohibited scouting high school games. With some one-and-done players sitting out their lone college season or getting hurt, the 
teams needed the chance to scout them even earlier. Also with these new pro youth leagues where NBA scouting is permitted, the sense was there was an inconsistency that needed to be remedied. Kevin? Yeah, makes sense. DA thanks. Pirtle kicks to Brown. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and the free throw line. It's on Jimmy Butler. Yeah, Barrett is a strong finisher, so don't expect a little bit of contact to stop him cold. And the first one drops. And the slashing lefty, R.J. Barrett Brent, always looking to go downhill. Yeah, and that's his strength, literally. As he improves as a perimeter player, that's going to help him out. But, man, that strength and his ability to go through guys is special. Oh, that's a really nice job from MP to invite the contact and then get to the line. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. He doesn't get the second one. Raptors trail by 21. They're at the pass to quickly. Barnes outside. Quickly against Rogier. Takes it off the glass. Quickly's got seven points here in this quarter. Quickly didn't hold back there, taking some contact inside if he has to. The drive by MP. Oh, fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Brown outside. Takes a three. And Rogier pulls it down. The deep doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. They get it back, and Bryant gets to Rozier. Knocks down the three ball. Rozier's got five. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And the Raptors call time here. And a chance here to see our rookie watch. The biggest point producing freshman over the last 10 games. MV is number one. He gave them a luxury in those games that a lot of teams just don't have. I mean, being able to plug a rookie in and know he's going to carry his weight offensively. Pass to quickly. Back to Barnes for three. Miami grabs the miss. Well, that's a shot right there. He's going to hit nine times out of ten. We just saw the 10% he doesn't make. And MP throws it down. They can't give up those kind of lanes. MP is going to go right through there. Here's Brown. He's got six. To halt the run. Miami grabs the miss. MP's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area and not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run just too many good looks from in close and he overdid it there too much force it looked like on the foul and he's called for the flagrant boy a, a very hard foul that time and the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of plays. And Toronto making a change here. Abaji's checked in. Here's Pirtle taking a look at his stats. He's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Quickly kicks to Barrett. Back to Quickly. Here's Abaji. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And a moment now to look at the numbers for Barrett. He's putting up about 16 points a game, four rebounds, and three assists. And very few players in the league can go out and produce like he has. Just a great stretch for him.
He keeps playing like this, and you know in arenas, especially at home, when a star player is playing this well, those MVP chants come raining down. And he sinks the second. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. MP, no good. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Raptors. Now, quickly, 14 points for him. And there's the pass to Barrett. Miami grabs the miss. MP's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Martin. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got rebound number eight now on the night. And here is quickly. Pass to Barrett. Brown against Bryant. Down to five on the shot clock. Bertle sets the pick for Brown, and the shot goes down. Brown's got four this quarter. Miami leading by 23. Pass to Hawkes. From deep, Bryant pulls it in. Kind of rare to see any player have this team. Down low. Nice shot by Pirtle. Pirtle's got six. There's no stopping Pirtle when he has the ball in that spot. Just abusing the defense down in the paint. MP against Brown. Trying to get something going. And MP throws it down hard. Oh, man, can we see that MP dunk again? I mean, whew. awesome display of athleticism captured. By your AT&T 5G slam cam. Toronto's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Quickly the pass to Abaji. And the Raptors tack on two more. To leave a guy like that wide open from range, big mix up. Now here's MP. 43 points in the game. Misses from close range. And there's a minute 45 left here in the third quarter. It's Barrett on the wing. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16 and a half points a game. There's Pirtle. The kick out to Brown. Shoots the three. Nailed from three-point land. 13 points in the game. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large but now not insurmountable. Well, the run simply has given them a chance. Great work on both ends. They've got to now ratchet up a notch. Pass to Quickly. Brown with a screen on Rozier. The nine-foot shot. And it's Quickly missing. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track. They're going to find a way to win. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, Hot Man is going for the jugging. Rozier against quickly. There's the pass to Brock. Goes up at the stripe. MP grabs the miss. MP's got double digit rebounds now in the game. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Giving his all on that play. MP working hard to win the whistle. A different look for Miami. Jovic is checked in. And it's Jimmy Butler in for Caleb Martin. Toronto's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. He 
Here's Dick, defended by Butler. Dick with it. Hasn't made one yet. Just five to shoot. Boucher with a screen on Butler. Dick. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Bertle is checked in for Chris Boucher. Barrett comes in for Dick. Brown is checked in for Gary Trent. And quickly in for Kevin Herter. Here's Brown. Drives to the hoop. And Brown throws it down hard. And when Pirtle sees one of his guys wide open, he whips it his way. He's all for doing what's best for the team. Time to send it now to the sideline for more on this spectacular season MV is putting together. Well, we thought the single season points record was unbreakable, but MP saying not so fast. He's close to Will Chamberlain's 1961-62 season for total points scored. That was the year Wilt averaged 50 points a game. But MP could break Wilt's record soon. It's just unreal, guys. Unreal, effortless scoring, something to watch, wow. The forward spots will be Butler and Martin. Terry Rozier is out there with MP, and it's Bryant in at the five. That's the group on the four for Miami. And really just unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. Raptors trail by 17. Pass to Barrett. Back to quickly over Rozier. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. Every now and then, quickly can feel out that mid-range and attack that area. To the middle. Connects again. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Bertle sets the pick for quickly. Fader on the way. Barrett, no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. MP kicks to Butler. Ryan sets the screen for Butler to the inside. The kick out to Rogier. Launches it. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. MP's got three assists in the game. Quickly against Rogier. Here's Quickly. Here's Barrett. It's hauled in by the Heat. MP's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. There's the drive. And the dunk by MP power move from MP. Once he gets up there like that with a head of steam, it's all over. Toronto's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Rozier against quickly. Passes it to Barrett. Lock at six. To end the run. Rebound by the Heat. MP's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Outside for Mark. Fires for three. And Thomas Bryan gets the whistle that time. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. The Raptors shooting 44% in the fourth. The offense lifts him ups and downs. <laughs> Now here's Barnes, not a lot of room. And it's Miami with the rebound. Now MP, driving the lane, and the dunk by MP. Yeah, letting it rip, they're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you gotta enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. Now, here's Barrett. Defense is right there. 
And it's Pirtle at the elbow. Brown outside. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Brown's got 11 points here in just the second half. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for Miami. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. Toronto shooting has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. And here's Barrett. Pass to Brown. Misses the layup. Now the Heat with it. They're on a 16-6 run. Floats it up for MP. An emphatic LU jam. And what goes up must come down. Plenty of athleticism there on that dunk by MP. Now here is Pirtle. He's guarded closely. Here's Barnes. Miami grabs the miss. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big-time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a golly win for the Heat. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget, and on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. Well, in a dominant year where we've watched this team battle night in and night out all season long, this will bring their win total to an impressive 69. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for MP. He was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. A yeah, huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. It's rebounded by Jovic. Just not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. The pass to Highsmith. Now, here's MP. Pass to Hero. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be...